TGR. Hey everybody, welcome to the Gaming Resumes 2019 preview. I'm Sean. This is Rudy. Yep. This is Onyx. Boom. We've got 21 games to discuss today. Uh, you can jump to the timestamps in the description below to check out the games that we are talking about. Here are our thoughts on these upcoming games. We are going to try to consense a top five of those 21 games. Uh, by no means are those 21 games all of the good games coming out next year, but no those way. are just the 21 that I have I in this list. So many. We are recording this before Game Awards 2018, so it's very possible there will be even more games coming out oh, in 2019 yeah. oh, that yeah. are not on this list. Metroid Prime 4, potentially one of those games. Hopefully. Uh, it's not in the list. It's not in the list. No, no. we don't oh, know we if don't it's know. coming out. Oh, that is true. Uh, yeah, that is. Um, so we're going to have a top five at the end of this. Uh, as we go through these games, we're going to try to vote these games into our top five. And if they get in, we got to vote what game comes out. And if we can't agree, we're going to shuffle and do some crazy fun. It'll be fun. Let's It'll do be it. Fun. Keep watching. Let's All right. <laughs> so let's jump into this because this might be a pretty long video. Our first game to discuss is Pokemon Gen 8. Ooh. Oh, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We're going to smash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Like I'm so excited, and and you know it's funny I haven't even played Let's Go. You uh, I think you have. You're yeah. the only one here that has played Let's Go. It Pikachu. is so good. It is so good, and I cannot wait for that. And like, there's a lot of differences between you know Let's Go and Gen Seven, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And all that. Yeah. But like, dude, if Let's Go is any indication of where Pokemon can go collectively in the future, I am stoked. Yeah. It is so. Well, fun. I have a feeling they are gonna do like. I think the next one will be silver and gold. Yeah. Do you think Gen 8 will be a remake? No, Gen 8's, Gen 8's going to be something brand new. Okay. They're going to continue Let's Go. Let's Go Silver. That'll be their new oh, remake platform. Okay. Hit the nostalgia bone. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Gen 8's going to be that. straight up brand new core Pokemon yeah. title yeah, for yeah, yeah. the hardcore Pokemon fan. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Hardcore. No offense to the Let's Go fans. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Definitely not. I <laughs> got it up in my closet waiting for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, see? And, and the thing is, like, I, I've heard that let's go does so like for example the whole catch pokemon you get experience you keep catching the same pokemon you get experience mm -hmm. multipliers that is a hell yeah that is such a good idea that incentivizes catching pokemon number oh, yeah. one which i think the series lost in the last couple of generations oh, yeah. and on top of that it takes away from the tedium that is random battles because let's be real like random battles people like them i think they're a little archaic they and, are. And honestly, like, in Pokemon, the grind sometimes could feel archaic. Now, the Pokemon company started making the game easier to get rid of the grind that was needed before, if, if it was ever needed, really. Um, and then you lose that challenge that comes from traditional RPGs. So, let's go, I think... With that idea, you know, maybe not get rid of traditional battles. Like, if you want to keep the encounters, but make pokemon battling similar to let's go where you see them on the map on yeah. the right? world map oh, yeah. totally. for sure. you, totally. we need to do that see them on the map but still battle them if you really want to keep that traditional core experience yep um and then just you know just do some multipliers for the catching really incentivize catching pokemon again i think that was lost that was the whole slogan gotta catch them all was gents one two three and maybe up to four and then that went out the window. We they, don't hear that anymore. Yeah. They had a similar chaining mechanic. I don't remember which generation it was I think in. it was six, if I'm thinking. It, it was one where like the bushes would shake, and if you did it right, then yeah. you, every, you just kept hitting the shaking bush, and it would start it chaining the same Pokemon. But you never know what you're going to get the first time. Like It was supposed you, to be the same Pokemon up to a shiny. That was yes. shiny hunting. And this is what... It's the same yeah. thing, only yeah. you see them in the field. And you do get shinies, too. I, and you get I, them, saw, I think you get them yeah. a lot easier. Yes. J yeah. Jim Sterling, in his video, um, he actually had a shiny Ekans. I was like, oh, my God. This guy literally... <laughs> it's like a weird gray snake. I'm like, oh, that's so gross. So definitely, definitely easier, I think, to, to oh, do it. Totally, totally. And if you have the Pokeball Plus thing... I don't, easier, know, right? I don't know if there's going to be any support for Gen 8, but if you have that for Let's Go, you literally put the Pokeball in a Pokeball... Or, I mean, Pokemon in a Pokeball, and you just yeah. take it out. Or you, you hear have it, it on right? the desk. Oh, yeah, you can hear it. You can do whatever, and you just, like, you know, move it around, whatever. Pretend to take steps, essentially. Yeah. And then when you go ahead and, you know plug it back in via bluetooth to the or wi-fi whatever to the to the switch the bar comes up of their xp and they go up like three to five levels wow 
Dude, it is insane. <laughs> they also had a pedometer in one of the previous <laughs> games. Hard gold soul silver. I think it, yeah, yeah. exactly. I had it. That, that was Look amazing. I Pokemon washed it. Fanatic. I, I, yeah. I washed but, it. But uh, I had it. But it's the same idea, and I think they're they're reusing old concepts in new ways, and they're using it in a way that's a lot more immersive. Like yeah. totally. the pedometer versus a pokeball that and, shakes and, and has a has... joy like a stick on it yeah, you can yeah, play yeah. the whole game with that yeah thing. and let me tell you that the reception is like on point really joy cons are like poo poo compared, compared to, to the pokeball. <laughs> like, oh my god dude that's so funny it, it's insane like I, I was sitting there i was playing with it and and my son was you know just sitting there and playing with it i'm just like wow this is really good he's yeah. sitting like on the other side of the room and he's just still like still playing with it just still that's playing great, with it man. it's awesome it's awesome so hype for Gen 8. Totally. I think, total, dude. I think Pokemon Company can really do good. I, I want them clean slate, reinvent the series, yeah. maybe bring in some of the reinventions they did with Pokemon Quality of Life. Go. Man. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Um, but try to focus it a little bit more on the, the traditional hard... Yeah, the more traditional yeah. Pokemon the core, audience, not the, the core casual yeah. audience. Yeah. Similar to how Sun and Moon was. Yeah, yeah. Sun and like Moon, when Sun yeah. and Moon came out, like I was like, this is such a refresh. I don't know, just a refreshing take. Yeah, the de- definitely one. the the intro to Sun and Moon really made you feel that way. I think by yeah. the end of the game, it was kind of like, okay, uh, this is yeah. still traditional Pokemon, but like it not being just gym leaders. Yeah, you know, having those challenges leading yeah. up to that felt fresh. You still had a gym leader fight eventually. Yeah, but they were Tradition. still. It was well done. I, I like Gen. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. All right, we spent a lot of time yeah, on Pokemon. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Come on. That's true. All right, our next game <laughs> is going to be Gears Five. See, and, and, and we'll probably spend thirty <laughs> seconds on this. I mean, okay, and I'm sorry. I am sorry. This I is probably one of the biggest games coming out exclusively on, on Xbox. Xbox. No, no, no. Xbox and there's a huge year. fan base. Gears is a quality title. I've played. Oh yeah. You know, I've I played most of the ones on 360. I didn't play all of them, but I played most of them. I played the first one for sure and some of two. I, don't, I think I ever touched three or four. No, four was on one. That was this Four gen. was the first Xbox One okay. Gears, yeah. Yeah. They're good games. I just, I, I, I've i lost the connection to it. And I don't own an Xbox One. I can get it on PC. On PC. Yeah. yeah, but it's the fifth. I haven't played the fourth. Okay. I'd have to invest my time to That's get fair. into four and five. So cool that they're getting another one. Cool that the Microsoft hasn't abandoned the franchise. They're trying to, you know, push it in. Uh I'm not too excited for it, but I'm happy that people have the option to play it. Okay. For sure. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of in the same boat. I. Uh, Did you ever play the first ones like back in the day? Yeah, like at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, because you never you didn't own a 360. <laughs> I never had a 360. That. I remember you guys were like, you gotta get a 360, and I'm like, I mean, nah. it was a hell of a console. I'll tell you that. Yeah, but, I mean that's that's definitely true. Yeah. Um, I never, <laughs> I never played any of them. Um, it looks pretty. They it are. Does cool. look good. And, and like, I mean. God, let's that, let's be honest. The, first the Microsoft that is today to me feels much different than the Microsoft at the beginning of the generation. Absolutely. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if they're like pumping in money into this and they're you know they're like hey let's switch it up let's give our core audience what they want yeah switch yeah, yeah no pun intended no pun intended but um but yeah no that if they're gonna go ahead and actually like follow the same steps that they've been taking then it could be a home run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> it's so great. We're checking our, <laughs> Gears checking our watches. The Gears, Gears five. five, guys. I'm stoked. All right. <laughs> Next game on the list is Rage 2. Oh, mm. man. The that's, dud. Dang, that got... Well, I guess it, it was never, the dud announcement because of the leak. Yeah, Walmart Canada. Which yeah. <laughs> good job, sneaky, good job, guys. You sneaky little jerk, you. We see what you're doing for uh, yeah. Yeah. Death Stranding. Yeah. Anyway, Anyways. Rage 2. Um, I never played the first one. No. I've heard that it was a decent game. Like, I actually heard that it was not a bad game whatsoever. It was one of the better showings at uh, Bethesda's E3 oh, Rage 2018 2? press conference, yeah. though that doesn't say too much. No, that was <laughs> awful. But Rage uh, 2 does look good, and it has a lot of potential, which we discussed mm-hmm. post E3. It yeah. has a lot of potential. Yep. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm super stoked for it, but I do want... Like, if it's... It, it might be one of those like Dragon Quest Eleven where I know it had potential, I didn't really care for it, bought it, and I'm like, yes, I'm happy I bought this game. This is a really good game. It might be one of those. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see if it stays in the top five. Yeah, uh, I doubt it, but <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Uh, I mean, it was a big, it was a big announcement. I don't think they anybody thought they were going to revisit the Rage no, franchise. No, definitely. So no, it has that did. going for it. Yeah. It was a surprise. 
I'm glad they did because a lot of studios just make a new IP and if it fails or doesn't sell well, it's like, ah, drop like, it, whatever. Yeah. let it die. Yeah. Everything's a business decision. Uh, well, let's I see if like... uh, this is going to be a business decision. Oh, wait. I don't even know what that means. Uh, <laughs> oh, Bloodstain. Bloodstain. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I am excited for this game. I love Igarashi. I love Castlevania. I'm just worried <laughs> for this game. Yeah? Yeah. I you mean, worried it won't live up to the hype? Because the thing is, so, you know, he had a really good uh, Kickstarter campaign. Of course. Uh, We've seen how that goes. Right. And <laughs> the I'm, problem... I'm not my, my, No, no, no. Mighty Number no. 9 was awful. Awful, awful, awful product. Like, anyway. Um, so, I don't know. Something about it. Like, you look back at Symphony of the Night and even, like, the, the GBA games and even the older classic Castlevania games that weren't, you know, the Egovania games. Yeah. Um, you look at them and they have this this style, right? You yeah. look at them and they look polished. They look clean. They look good. Something about this game doesn't look that polished to me. It yeah. So for those that don't know, Bloodstains the spiritual successor to Castlevania. Right. The 2D Castlevania games and it has kind of like a cell shaded It's like yeah. cell shaded. Yeah. It's like 2.5D, 3D yeah. models, yeah. 3D backgrounds but on a 2D plane. Right. And it doesn't look bad. Like it's not ugly, right? Yeah. It's just some, something feels off. Like I look at uh Alucard and I look at his running animation for example and that is smooth. That is pixel art, like, perfection almost, right? Whereas I look at this and I see her running animation, I forget her name, and it's, it's something's janky, you know? And, and it could be because it's Kickstarter. It could be they don't have the budget that Konami might have given them back Fair. in the day. So I don't know. But something about it is not selling me. Could it be yeah. the size of the character on the screen? She looks I big. I think traditionally char- the Castlevania characters oh, are much were, smaller yeah, were, relative to everything else going on yeah. around them, and she's taking up a decent amount of Yeah, a decent estate. chunk. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Something feels off from what I've seen, and I just lost a little bit of my uh, my hope. Okay, it's been a long time. It's been a it's been like, what, long four years, maybe. Time. This years? Bloodstained was a thing before Final Fantasy VII, Last Guardian, Shenmue Three, E Three. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I think it was like, like it's been it's been in development been for long? a long time. Wow. Yeah, but it got funded. It it it, it oh. got funded. I think development began maybe a few months after the funding happened. So yeah. It's been a while, but yeah, they, I mean, you had, they had like a three million budget, maybe. I don't remember exactly what it was. I don't so. know, but I feel like it's probably all gone by now. Oh, definitely. Hopefully, so. it's not Shenmue three. All right, to round up our current top five. <laughs> don't tell me that. that Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. Yeah, this is one that I'm just not very excited for. So excited wait about? a minute. So I think this game no. could be fun. It yeah, could it could be. be. There's potential but there. But it's Ubisoft. And they it's haven't really be been treating Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh, from what I've heard, has been a good step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. But it, it, this is this is not. It's not so. Bad. It's 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 Assassin's Creed Four, yeah. minus Assassin's Creed, minus Assassin's Creed, <laughs> potentially minus a single player campaign. I yeah. think they were pitching this as multiplayer only. I don't know if they've. I don't remember if they reverted on that or not. Mm-hmm. And that uh, wouldn't be a bad thing if it's a you know if it's like a constantly online multiplayer environment that doesn't necessarily mean it might be a bad thing because you might have a lot of things to do all the time well right from what they had shown at least prior to this previous e3 it was almost like barren bones yeah Yeah. oh my god yeah get out of here go home please (laughs) and i mean for a multiplayer game that's not good no it's not no unless it's going to be like a 20 dollar budget title which it won't it's ubisoft yeah so i don't even think their indie titles were 20 bucks I can't they, think of they that. were they were at like thirty like Child of Light, Valiant Heart, and all that. Yeah, you're right. I'm they were thirty sure, bucks sure actually. Were, I'm pretty sure they were at 25, 30 bucks. If yeah. I remember, I don't know. I could be wrong. That was like forever ago. But I'm not excited for it. I have hope for it. I want it to be like. Amazing. I mean, me too. Because I want Black it to be Flag good. was like, such a good Black game. Black Flag was, was freaking fantastic. awesome. I that was what it. revitalized me in Assassin's Creed. I was like, yes, I'm back in baby. And then Unity came out. And I'm like, oh, oh, I'm out. Yeah, I'm Unity. Out. <laughs> you, you didn't like Unity and like the floating eyeballs. No, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not salty. Okay, so... <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so from here on out, any game that we talk about, we'll discuss it. And then two of us have to vote it in the top five. We're not going to discuss what goes out. Just does it make it in based on what's on the table. 
and then uh, we have to consent on what comes out. All right. By the way, you just want to note note something. I th- I find it hilarious that out of these five games, one game we spent like ten minutes talking about because we love it. <laughs> it's an Nintendo <laughs> franchise, and the rest are like, eh. And so I want it to be good, but I don't know if it's gonna be good. Yeah, kind of thing. We didn't say this would be an in-depth preview for all of these games. No, yeah. no, no. I just, I just find it funny. And I think I always want to notate or, or mention Nintendo's doing a really damn good job. Let's just say that right now, dude. Yeah, they're they're knocking it out of the park. Bias aside, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> personal bias. Not can't speak for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. First game okay. number six is gonna be Days Gone. <laughs> I think they're laughing because they love this game. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to another game. Open world, zombies. zombies. <laughs> Sony AAA. Uh, yeah. Motorcycle I feel really bay. bad for Sony Bend. I, I, I do too. I don't think this game has too. an identity. I think it did no. it first, and then they lost it. They have no idea how to market this game. I mean, I don't even think yeah. it was marketed as an open world game when they first showed it. It was like, look at the crazy mobs. Look, look at the got. amount of zombies yes. on screen. And now it's just motorcycles and... Open world. Open world, and yeah, there's zombies, but then there's like gangs or like people going crazy, and it's The Walking Dead. It's, I mean, it's and with yeah. a game like Red Dead Redemption Two just coming out, and you know, I know it's a totally different type of game, right? This is zombies, this is western, right? But with with <laughs> that kind of game in there, it's like, but RDR had that. Uh, oh my god, the DLC. Other nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. That was oh cool. my god, that's right. I mean. It has potential, but I just don't care. Yeah. I still feel the same as I did when I saw the reveal. If they had, if they weren't making The Last of Us two at all, oh my yeah, God. maybe yeah. this would have a little. But that as soon as The Last of Us two was announced, it was oh, like that, nobody cares. Nobody cares Days about is that. gone. <laughs> it, it really. I I feel bad for Sony Ben. Yeah, I mean they're trying something new or whatever it is. You know. Uh, yeah, I and guess. that's why they had to delay this game. It was coming out in the February time frame. Yep. With all or Mar- I forget when in that first quarter. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's delayed to like what April or May or I something. I think so. Yeah. Think early summer because it would have died. It would have died. Yeah. Nobody would have bought it. No. no. Not when Kingdom Hearts three comes out the week before, oh, and goodness. Resident Evil two. Oh God. S- you know. S- well, I-, I. We'll see. No, I mean, there's nothing. I- I'd rather play any of these games than Days Gone. Uh, Truly, I don't know, man. I have to say, I agree with you. I kind of agree too. <laughs> like truly, truly, I, all Sorry, these games Sony. have something that that will make them stand apart. And Days Gone has a motorcycle that breaks down, I, and you got to take care of and it. And he looks kind of like John Marston. But... Yeah, like if John Marston <laughs> was in like the nineties or two thousands. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Days Gone. I Sorry, feel bad, man. but <laughs> damn, that that, that almost hit flying. the camera. So rewind it because I know you weren't actually watching. You're listening right now. Go back and check that out. That flew right at the top. <laughs> oh, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our top five has survived to live another day. Let's see how they do against the Division Two. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. So this one, this one definitely has more going for the Days Gone. I agree. Like the preview that they showed um, at E3 definitely had me excited, um, and. Like, I heard, I didn't play the first one. Mm-hmm. I think Matt did. did yeah. You, did you guys play the first one? No. Okay, so, like, from what I hear, and I'm sure you guys heard the same thing, first one when it launched was pretty much caca. It was yep. bad. It was caca yeah, de vaca. Bad, but bad. now, like, near, I mean, it sounds kind of like Destiny 1. Yeah. That, that yeah. It was it was okay to, like, mediocre to, like, not so good. And then all of a sudden, everything got developed. The community, you know, expansion grew, expanded yes, and all, and all this. Stuff. And, like, all of a sudden, it's amazing. So, my hope is that they learn unlike Bungie and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, trust me if it, Fair. Didn't, if it didn't come uh, with my PS4 Pro I wouldn't have gotten the game and now it's free I got it for free on, like, on PC and PS4 like yeah. I haven't played it but I have it I played it for yeah. like an hour and I was like eh whatever yeah yeah, exactly oh no I got to Scotland or something and it was just like if Dinklebot isn't care. in it I don't care <laughs> <laughs> but yeah this I think this game's got a lot going for it it definitely oh, yeah, has yeah, potential totally. and looking at our top 5 if I were to Throw it on there. I I take it over Skull and Bones. That would be the multiplayer game. You know, you're not game. supposed to go there. You're supposed oh. to say, "Let's finish talking about the game oh, first I before God." Skull and Bones, like barely. <laughs> even, you're just so ready over there. Uh, I was. Yeah, um, they didn't have anything else man. to say. Is, the game looks good. Is looks, this a, is this good. a Destiny killer? 
It could be. The first be. one wanted to be and wasn't. It could be, but Anything. I don't think it will. I think Destiny has a lot of... Destiny's sci-fi. That's realistic-fi. <laughs> realistic-fi. Um, it's still sci-fi-ish, but it's it's very it's set in a very realistic world, whereas Destiny has the fantasy element that people love. I mean, let's be real here. Fantasy and, and, and nerdism is, is at an all-time high. Division isn't really hitting that. So Tom Clancy fans, you know, realistic shooters fans might go towards that. I don't think it's going to be a killer for Destiny, though. Hell no. Can this survive in the climate of that first quarter release schedule? Because this is one of those When games. is that coming out? The end? February? Yeah. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. That's another title in February? Oh, you're going to be shocked if you haven't looked at that list. Oh There's quite God. a bunch. No, that's not going to survive. I don't think January it through March is crazy. Dude, like... Kingdom I mean, Hearts alone, like, no. I would rather play Kingdom Hearts over that. Okay. I mean, granted, Kingdom Hearts does have a specific fan base. It's not like everybody's going to be playing well, the game. Listen, Kingdom Hearts but, isn't even on the table. Oh, but we, we I, know, I know that's coming I, in January. I, like, like that's all, a big hitter. No. I don't know. I don't think I included it in here. We'll see. Yeah, okay. You're like the biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I'll believe it when pigs fly. All right. Pigs so fly? so should the Division 2 enter in over one of these five? I would say yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Skull and Bones is my pick. Let, well, do you have multiple picks? Like, are, is there anything that the game to try to come to a consensus? I'm not saying Skull and Bones wouldn't be the pick. <laughs> I don't know that that would be my pick. I don't have. I'd rather play all of these than Skull and Bones, and then I would rather play Dimension Two over that and none of these. So, yeah. Actually, I think I, I kind of agree. Skull and Bones as yeah, well. I agree. It's a multiplayer game. Out of okay. all these, th- that's like a multiplayer game. That's a multiplayer game, and that'll probably be better. Do, oh, do my. Wanna- not at the camera. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Skull and Bones. You're the weakest link. <laughs> that was the weakest flick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. The weakest flick. <laughs> All right, Rudy, you get to do the next one. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Chase. Oh, boy. The pressure is on. <laughs> All right, we've got Crackdown 3 oh, coming up here. God. Jeez, there's so many, like, this these is could another, be good. This is another first quarter game. Really? Shut yeah, up. I'm pretty sure this is it February. Feels like it's again. February or March. I don't remember which. <clears throat> I didn't play the first one or the second one, and I care not for this. Played one. the first one, didn't play the second. This one. looks very much like Saints Row Four. Which has, I'm sure has you like totally stoked. Saint. Well, I do, I, I prefer the storylines of Saints Row. Oh, I don't really wild. care about the story yeah. in Crackdown. But in in Saints Row, it was like you're in like some cyber world, something or other. And you're like running up buildings. You're yeah. like a superhero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. While still stealing cars and blah blah blah. That's this. Yeah, that's super powered like soldiers and stuff. Over the top. Over the top. Very yeah. over the top. I remember very, the very, first very. one being over the top. Yeah, and they're fun. I like. I, I I always picture in my head when I think of Crackdown. This is like one section by the beach, where like there's like a tunnel coming up, mm-hmm. and I always remember just jumping from the from the buildings closest to like the beach area and like kind of like I think it was like a Ferris wheel maybe. Or something like that, like it's a been a while. carnival. It's been a long time, but I remember that scene, like that area, because I had so much fun just messing around. Um, I'm not that hyped though. The first you're, one you're was hyped. great. Mm-mm, I just, no. it's got Terry Crews in it. That, that is a really cool That's addition. Something. I wonder if um, that was necessary in order to try and sell the game. Sell it. Probably they're, they're going to have uh, to do a lot with it. In again, in an open world, uh, in the type of industry we're in nowadays, where we have a lot of open world games. I mean, everything is open world and everything's trying to give like some sort of new identity to that type of gaming. Yeah. Um, I think their, their, their best bet is probably that mobility that Crackdown 1 had because you never really need to get in a car. Like you can just jump around similar to like games like Sunset yeah, Overdrive which you have good mobility and things like that. So if they can really hone down on the, hey, you can literally destroy buildings like they said you could and things like that, it could actually be crazy, crazy fun. But I still think it'll be niche. I don't think it'll be a big, big seller. Mm. That sucks. I think it'll be a big seller for Xbox fans. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that, well, and that goes in line but, with the exclusives they've had up to now. But it is coming out in one of the craziest quarters for gaming. Yeah, third period. parties. Third parties. <laughs> oh boy. Oof. Um. So I actually would put it in this top. Five. Me too. I don't care at all, but it takes two votes to put it in, so okay. you guys. And I would probably knock off either Gears or Bloodstained if I. Gears is five is my bet. That'd be. I'd rather play Crackdown than Gears currently. Oh, <laughs> Gears five is out, which is actually really surprising. Like, as a franchise, 
Yeah. Hell yeah, Gears, and not Crackdown. But to your point, having not really kept up with Gears after the 360, it's like, I don't... And it's, I'm, and I'm it's like another cinematic to shooter, too. Like yeah, We've already done true. so many of them. We like really what, have. What Uncharted. is it doing new? Crackdown 3 might do something genuinely new. Whereas Gears is... It's Gears 5. Yeah, Gears was like... like <laughs> when it when it came out, and it was like one of the first big HD games Dude, those that graphics. somebody played. Those graphics. That people played. Like, that was my first HD. Well, maybe not technically the first. But the first real big one no, 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 yeah. that I played. And it was yeah. like... Wow. That was the showcase for Unreal Engine wow. 3. Like, yeah. yeah. That was insane. I remember like you would get like there was like water just coming down and you would walk into the stream and it would literally like bounce off your character model. That to me, that blew my mind as however old I was when I played that. It's like, damn, games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of games. More games. Resident Evil. Here we go. Two. Now we talking. Capcom is back in the house, baby. Cap God. God, this one's probably gonna last for a while. <laughs> Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> As I talk for ten minutes. So, so what about this remake? Are you both looking forward to everything? Whoa! Did you guys both play Resident Evil Two? Director's Cut. Oh, nice! I never played a Director's Cut. It's I played good. the PS One, the OG. I never played it. Never played it. Really? It's you a... can borrow it. I still have it. Oh, no, I don't want to go back. I'm going forward. <laughs> <laughs> See, Touché. so so Touché. I am. Super, super excited for Resi 2. Um, with my uh, reservations, right? I, I, As much as I loved the first one, when they first announced they were going to make a remake, I thought it was going to be like the Resi 1 remake. Yeah. I thought it was going to be on, like... The one on GameCube? Get the, get the, yeah. The like GameCube a more one. traditional... Like, we're going to It's take... not a remaster, but it's a very similar style to the RE1. Right, like, like a remake. Like, yeah. like We're, we're going to take this <laughs> yeah. game... <laughs> and put that's the definition of right? new engine you know new new like things to add to the <coughs> existing story things mm-hmm. like that yeah like it, it was almost like a, a small expansion to what was there and just building it from scratch right yeah. that's what i expected that's what i genuinely wanted and then when i saw that it wasn't going to be that i was genuinely disappointed because i love the resi one remake and then when I saw they were doing Resident Evil 4, Four style, I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. So now you're taking the best RE game, arguably, Ever. and another arguably best RE game in RE2. Like, okay. And they're having a and baby. And it's Leon. Yeah, it's Leon. It's Claire. Like, this is going to be this is gonna be good. I, I don't, I really don't think it's going to be bad. Again, I think, I hope they don't lose the horror because Resident Evil 2 was actually really freaking scary. Um and Resty Four lost the fear because now you're in control. You yeah. can aim better. You can hit the people on the legs and they yep. crouch. It it was very different. The horror went away for uh I guess like a thrilling uh sense action of being packed, overtaken by a lot of enemies. Yeah, a lot of action, action packed. Especially man. that second half of that game. Holy crap, that yeah. was bonkers. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm hyped. It's only been re-released like on every console know, ever I, since. I, I, it's on my it. phone. It's on my phone. <laughs> I got to Napoleon and then that was it. Oh yeah. my god, that's another game. I, I feel like. Oh, are we talking RE2 still? Ah, Before whatever. I'm lost. Whatever. Anyway, whatever. this is one of the big releases for next year. Yeah, I'm it stoked. Is. This is going in the top five. Oh, it definitely Let's is. What, what can we get rid of? Oh, I can. I already have like three. I can get rid of three easy, but I'll let you guys pick. I, I I know which ones he would get rid of. Actually, there's only one that I'd really keep. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like, that's which, how I feel, Which too. is the worst of these five? Onyx would pick Division 2, yeah. Crackdown, or yeah. Rage 2. Oh, my man. He knows my tastes. Yeah. I would keep Bloodstain on there simply because I have hopes for the... Yeah, uh, I would, too. Vania. I never played a Castlevania. Oh, my um, God, dude. It's so funny because it's half of, like, my favorite genre. Yeah, I know uh, Metroidvania. What the hell? <laughs> I love Metroidvania. But I never played, I never played I it. I mean, it, it was after Igarashi, by the way. It was after he came and made Symphony of the Night that it took that turn. But yeah. anyway, let's get Anyways, back to Resi 2. So, so I am with you. I would get rid of one of these. Well, here. I would get rid of one of these. Okay, okay. so... Um, uh, uh, Take a pick. Rage 2? Rage 2. Rage 2. Rage poo. Oh! oh! Replaced by the better 2! <laughs> <laughs> the better oh, sequel, that's boy. a remake. Oh my god, yes. Sorry, Rage 2. We you had a you. really good musical number. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. It was... E3 yeah. jokes. Thims. In November. All right. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Oh, man. 
talking about Metroidvania. Oh, oh man. I know what this is replacing. <laughs> oh, I, what? I mean, I haven't played an Ori game before. Oh, man. But, Neither have I, but it looks gorgeous. But it looks Neat beautiful. It looks yeah, so... And they're not long. They're, they're paced so... Oh, wait, the first one, anyway. It's paced so friggin' well. I didn't realize they were Metroidvania-style games. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I, I you, you don't. You can't tell. You, you probably thought it was a platformer, right? I did. It's a Metroidvania. Friggin', ugh, I wish so I had known that. Yeah, it's crazy because I I didn't really like get into the first one or get interested in the first one until um, Mark Brown did yes. with the Game Maker's Toolkit. He yeah, did a video yeah, yeah. on it where he like broke down the components of what makes like a good platformer Metroidvania game, and like. That he was like, there's a spoiler here, blah blah blah, and I'm like, I don't care, I'm never gonna play it. And then I saw that, and I was like, I just spoiled myself. <laughs> I just wish I would have. I played wish it. <laughs> I would have played this part because there's like this whole segment, and dude, my love with Celeste. Dude, oh well, I have not been spoiled on this. On you, you should play no, but it. like my love with Celeste like grew because of the challenge and like how precise the platforming is. After yeah. seeing that, I was like. What did I do? <laughs> you know? So Ori, yes, I, top five. I don't I'm care. Definitely, definitely excited for this. I, you know, I don't have an Xbox, so it's kind of I gotta play it on PC. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, <laughs> well, the, the reason I say it with hesitance is only because I like my PC is not an optimal place to play. I don't want to play where my PC is set up. So that's kind of the thing. The game is so beautiful. So get your PS4 controller hooked up and just go sit back. That's, I, might, I could do that. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, my, I don't know if my PC can do 4K. Anyway. Look, I played Cuphead with my PS4 controller, so it's oh, all yeah, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Hell yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game, dude, it's got the another Metroid 2 remake guy. They I, I really? said a story before like the uh, Microsoft. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the 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 fan remake. Yeah. From Metroid Two, the, uh, they they hired the guy that made that. The AM Two R. They that hired the awesome. guy because Nintendo shut down that project. Well, yeah, I know. And they were I like, I was able to actually download one of the. Me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> and they were like, Hey, you made a kind of good Metroid Bandit game. Want to join us like a map designer guy? And yeah. That's huge That's to me. That's smart, dude. They literally seeked out talent. It's like Sega when they did uh, Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, this is going to come up. Um, you, you, you Jets tell There's me. only one game for me that I think should go. What's that? Oh, this is going in, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I would get rid of Crackdown 3. I'm fine Crackdown with that. 3? Yeah. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. I was leaning more towards the Division 2. Division 2, two? yeah. Hmm. But I go with Crackdown three. Ah, well, there it is. Are you okay with Crackdown three? I mean, you can take a chance and force a shuffle. I'm forcing a shuffle. Well, why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> he was never like offered me the, the class, shuffle, but being like, "All right, yeah." <laughs> Oops, no. <laughs> Pass me the division two. I tell you what. We'll just. <laughs> How do I do this with two of them? It's gonna be kind of fun again. No, no, no. It's, it's 50, okay. 50, 50 okay. Okay. I'll just keep doing this. You guys probably don't know. Just tell me no when idea. to stop, and whichever one is on top All right. is Three, the one. Two. Well, don't count it down because I know. Stop. Okay. We're getting rid of the division. Two. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, chance. Here, leave that down there because I have a feeling that's going to go pretty soon as well. <laughs> yeah, probably will. <laughs> Okay. All right. Moving on. There's another three that I want besides that. Kingdom one. Hearts three. Uh, I'm sorry. Fire Emblem three. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! For the hell Nintendo yeah. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points. Because <laughs> we are Nintendo shills. On... No, apparently. <laughs> oh man. I mean, look, red cups. Mm. Oh, but red Nintendo Switch logo. It, oh, it is. <laughs> Yeah, we are. And this so, is the first time I've been hyped for a Fire Emblem. That's game. crazy, man. There's... Or uh, just in general, wanting one, just for seeing it on the Switch and just seeing like how great the how, everything yeah. looks and everything. Yeah, I got. I got to give it to uh, Intelligent Systems. I think is the developer. I forget their name. Um, they've. I mean, Awakening was a fantastic game. I did not play the one that came out after birthright and whatever those are three games yeah uh, and people big fire emblem fans say they were good but they weren't as good as as what they did before i hope they take it back to the uh or at least give the option to have that core experience because before awakening it was like super hard these games were actually difficult your characters died they died forever Permanent. you have no yeah. chance you're done yeah. game over whatever not game over but um 
And they toned down with the weight gain, big time. Like, it was way easier, and they had a really big focus on relationships. So I, I want the relationships to still be here because they do lead to better units at the end of the day. Uh, but I don't know. I, I want it to be challenging, too. I don't want it to feel like a cakewalk, which I don't think it will. Rudy, have you played a Fire Emblem before? No, dude. Me I don't either. even think he's really big into no. SRPGs either. Um, right? Yeah. You just bought Final Fantasy Tactics on your Android. Yeah, it was uh, it was a Black Friday sale. I had a whole bunch of credits. Have you saved booted up? up? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Did you play a little bit of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got past the opening. I got credits. past the opening. Final Fantasy Tactics is the single greatest video game of all time. You don't say. In his opinion. <laughs> But we're not talking about that. We're Shadow talking about Fire Emblem better. 3. Anyways, um, so, uh, no. <laughs> would you I, get I, this game? I, I would. I would. Okay. Simply because of um, of the clout um, that the, the genre, or not the genre, but the, the, the brand franchise? and the franchise has. Yeah. Like, I, they're, they're polished SRPGs, man. When I, when I tell you, like, the combat, the tactics, like, the actual gameplay of it, Nintendo and intelligence systems in particular, they know what they're doing. Like, do they reuse the same character? Like, is Marth and Roy and Ike and all they're the all typically brand new? Heroes. Yeah, it's all typically. Are there new. ever like cameos? Sometimes, like for example, in Awakening, it was all new characters, and then Lucina, yeah, somewhat of a spoiler, I guess. Lucina Whoa, for a really old just game. Just dropped the spoiler. Somewhat right of a spoiler. Really. <laughs> so Lucina was introduced in that game, uh -huh. and she's she was. Um, she was hiding her identity, saying she was Prince Marth. So people thought she was Marth, yeah. which is, he's like a legendary prince or whatever, a legendary hero. But then she's like, no, I'm actually not Marth, I'm Lucina. Oh. So they reference other characters. Some games like Radiant Dawn, um, I think Radiant Dawn was a sequel to another game with Ike. So Ike was in two games, for example. But This most guy's of a Fire Emblem fanboy, holy well, crap. He's just a Nintendo fanboy. <laughs> Let's, I, let's be honest. <laughs> I know my, my Nintendo. Oh, by phone. the way, I was actually re-watching some trailers for this, which you've... You, I know you're watching these at the bottom of this video, because that's what I... <laughs> yeah. uh, this had a song. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. So Mario had a song. Smash Brothers had a song. Oh, my God, Fire Emblem right. had a song. Yeah. Get ready. Metroid Prime's going to have a song. Dude. That'd be so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a J-pop song. <laughs> Samus is like, Daddy, donkey, da, da, da. I will get and, you. <laughs> well, Samus I don't know I why. I will get <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, we're, we're not in the right place. Uh, anyway, Fire Emblem. Um, yeah, oh, yes. that's going in yeah, this Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I gave it a so crackdown. So it's probably yeah. one of the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That was... <laughs> Another week. That was weaker than the coffee? first one. <laughs> I'll you, give you it gotta my work. You gotta time. work your fingers out there, man. I don't work out enough. You don't play enough video games. I do. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> this all comes from Wiki. I know it. You just wick, wick, Wiki. You look up on Wiki all your <laughs> your Fire Emblem knowledge. You've never played these games. <clears throat> no, I definitely haven't played Radiant. That was in GameCube. I never played those. <laughs> I just know of it. I'm joking. Jerk. <laughs> He's just okay. Up, yeah. uh, let's talk about Ooh, Damon, Damon X, X Machina. Machina. I'm pretty excited for this, actually. Originally, we thought this was going to be Virtual On. Yes, it looks oh like Virtual God, On, but look. with a story. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I I think it does have some of the Virtual On developers. I think either that or maybe some of the character designers. I forget. But uh, I think it's Shoji, Shoji Kawa, Kawa. Damn it. Shoji, on point. Some Kawamori. anime clout. The guy that literally like designed some of the earlier Gundam yeah. models. Like, I immediately thought it was Gundam when I saw it. Like the, really? fir the first, first, first trailer, I was like, "Is this Gundam?" Yeah. Well, like, I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. It's designed by the same guy. So, Shoji Kawamori. Thank you. He also yes. designed the Bebop uh, ship. Uh, uh. Oh my God. The, um, Swordfish. Yeah. Thank you. I forgot to tell you. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, are, are you? I mean, are you excited for this? I think it'd be really cool. The I, question is, okay, would you get it? With money's not a thing. Well, oh, with, yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> with, like, you like, like, like do you have interest in playing? Yeah, I'm this. interested in it. Yes. I think it'd be cool. I mean, I I saw it, you know, E3, and I was just like, dude, this this is pretty legit. I think it's pretty awesome. This could be the next Nier Automata. It don't, actually don't say that, really man. could. Don't, don't say that. It, no, no, but I get don't what he's saying, me. like, right? Because 
It, it, it's kind of like out of nowhere. It doesn't have too much pedigree. It, like it's yo- an underdog sort yeah. of like, oh, this looks cool. I'd be interested in getting it. This could be a lot of fun. And then you get into it and you're like, what? Oh, wow. This is changing my perspective on humanity. Yes. <laughs> Dude, Nier Automata like Yoko Taro. me up. <laughs> Yoko Taro, Chan. Oh, my God. Oh, did I think I just convinced myself. To <laughs> Watch it come on. It's just like another mediocre anime trophy. Like, it, pro- uh, it, it could be. Probably. I have hopes. We will probably see a lot more of this game in future Nintendo Directs before it's released. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're going to oh, yeah, really yeah. hype this game up if it's good. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if, if they we don't, don't have, see a lot. But if they don't have any faith in it, they wouldn't put it on E3. Like, Nintendo would that know not to push this out. They showed it on yeah. E3. They showed more stuff at that other Direct they had. Um, that little random Direct they had. Uh, yeah, they've like shown October. it a couple times. Yeah, so I, don't, I think they have they have faith in it. Pretty sure. I think it's going to be a good game. Yeah. Okay. And I, I want it on this list right now. I like its color. Well, yeah, its of. color palette. Yeah, it's, it's got red, this like white, red. red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reminds me of Persona Five. Ooh, which mm. I never friggin' finished. Uh, the game was forever. Um, we well, got a year later, but <laughs> yeah, I got it on Black Friday. That's right. It was worth right. it. Twenty right. bucks. Uh, there's two games I could knock off this list, but one a little bit more than the other. Oh really? Oh two? wait, hang on. I would put this in. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Just be breaking our two own games rules. though. I mean, I only have one. I'm. Is it Bloodstain? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, right. Bloodstain. And honestly, between Bloodstain and Ori, yeah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a flick. All right. That scared me. I was watching it happen. <laughs> like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my camera. Between Bloodstain and Ori, I think Ori's gonna be the better Metroidvania game. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, that's gonna have way more polish. And it's, it's gonna, it's and it's gonna the, have an emotional it's, story it's too. It's got it's got the budget to back it up. Yeah. And the talent. Not saying the Bloodstain doesn't have no, the talent. It's gotta go right. That's got right? talent. Yeah. Yeah. So. All Budget right, and, talent. Uh, I'm and not it could sure make you cry. How many games we got? That's left. what I want. Maybe about ten. Okay. So I want 10-ish. games that make me cry. Maybe twelve. How many games? Jason. Are yeah, we're we're about halfway through. Sweet. Okay. All right. Let's All right, talk about Metro Exodus. Oh man. <laughs> look, look I, I, I'm faces. just I'm just gonna cut it <laughs> cut it short here, man. I don't have much interest in this game. It reminds me of Snowpiercer. Did you guys ever see that movie? No, but I heard it was actually really good. It is really good. Chris Evans. Right? Yeah, dude. Captain America before Captain he was America. Captain. This is another first quarter game. That's Shut fine. That will, that will actually get drowned out. I don't think very... I don't It has its fan so. base. I think it has fans a strong are fan base. It. It's beautiful. You're such oh, a yeah. minty fan, man. What do God. you mean? I, I think Resi this has... Too, I, com- like, <laughs> <laughs> compared to all this, this has potential. What but, do you mean? Compared but, to what all this? I'm sorry. Compared to all this, this does not have potential. What? But by itself, yeah. It's going to be... A, okay, look. If you, it get, probably, you know what I'm saying? I forgot that Crackdown 3 is not up here anymore. Dude, no, <laughs> no, yeah. Now we actually have But no, now you have like, like a legit lineup like Fire Emblem. Jesus yeah, yeah, Christ. Game X Monica. Three of them are Switch games. Come on. So, come on. so <laughs> I, think, I think part of the reason why we may all be poo-pooing this is because... Well, I haven't yet. I guess I'm about to. I play Is it. that we just don't have that... Like Gears... We don't have that investment or that link to the story that's happening in this game. And I played the first one. Like, I played a yeah, good played chunk the of the first Aren't there, one. like, yeah. four or five No, of this them? is the third game. Yeah, this no. is a Kingdom Hearts, bro. There was Metro so, Metro yeah. 1. There was a second Metro that came out last gen as well. There's got to be more than two. No, this is literally really? this is the third Metro so. game. Oh, well. Yeah. Unless they had a little mini... I don't know. I don't well, think so. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Please. <laughs> please. Correct us. Because I don't know shit. Because I don't look at Wikipedia to know this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so is that going in the top well, five? I, well, mm. you know, no. <laughs> I just, I just, I say no. This, it, it looks so polished. It looks so beautiful. I bet the gunplay in this mm. is a lot of. You fun. You know what was really polished so, and really beautiful? Last Guardian. Actually, it was not very polished. Well, but it was well, beautiful. At the time, it was beautiful. We, we didn't know that though. Before it came out, we were like, "Damn, this game is gonna be." It looks beautiful. You can say that about any game. Yeah, I okay know. Okay, then. So why are you about... saying that? I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, don't I was... shit on Last Guardian. Look, that was a look, damn look, amazing I'm, game. All I'm saying is that when we get this whole blitz of E3, dur- during E3, when they were lining all these games up, I was I was good. very impressed by the visuals. It looked good. Like, this still stood out among all those other games for its visuals That's and art That's We saw that at yeah, for um, sure. yeah, but it's Microsoft's, not, I mean, right? That was Microsoft's yeah, was Microsoft. conference that we saw yeah, that, right? Yeah, it was Microsoft, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It, no, 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 it really does. But yeah, thank bye. you. <laughs> thank let's, you. Let's not look. Sorry, Metro Exodus. I'm sorry, Metro. You don't feel bad. You're you're an inanimate object. You're fine. <laughs> isn't there? Isn't that like a Polish company or someone that makes? They it? are yeah, Russian. I think so. Russian? Is it Russian? Russian? Yeah. 
That makes sense. No Oof. mountains. Post apocalyptic Russia. The first yeah. two are set in Russia. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Metro Exodus. I wasn't going to play it. Uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, oh snap. Oh now we're God. coming to these crossroads here. Where Some of like, these are going to oh, get hard. Oh Was that God. a pun? Uh, I, uh, Again, I, I just want to just want to reiterate. Next year, we're getting a Fire Emblem, a Pokemon, and an Animal Crossing game. And rumored Nintendo. Prime. You're knocking it out of the park, man. Anyway, let's move on. Nintendo has Jesus the gaming industry and Damon X Machina is up there too. I, I, I know that's not one of your big, big, big ones. No, but like that's not a Nintendo developer. We're game. about that's the only reason we're I about think. to make this a Switch lineup. Let's try not to. No, hell so here's no. The thing. no, that bad boy is not. Leaving. Here's the thing. This no, this I want. That bad boy okay, is fair. not leaving. This I we, want. This I want. We don't. We really this, don't know this, this, what's coming hard. in it's Animal Crossing. I'll, I'll take this over these. Well, two. Hang, well, hang on. Well, let's talk about this. Okay, all right, all right. I'm <laughs> He's sorry. Ready. He's like, let's just go. Let's go. I know what I want. When I saw, when I saw Tom Nook, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean literally. <laughs> like, oh. a reenactment. <laughs> and, and, and then when they're like, by the way, Animal Crossing is coming, blah, blah, blah. I was like, <laughs> I was kind of let down by how they announced I it. I mean, that was just a reveal. Dude, it like, could have been a logo. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to flip. They did the, the same thing I'm with Metroid flip. Prime 4. And I lost my shit. Exactly. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a reveal. It was kind of a lazy reveal. It, well, it was going off a smash. Like, they I know. To show off Isabel. I know. Since, since I bought a Switch, I've been looking forward to that. Oh, yeah, I I'm right there has. with you. I'm like, right there with you. Dude, I've never played an Animal Crossing. What? And I'm looking for I've played this game before. Like, I've never okay. played it. Okay, we've clearly shown that Rudy is very <laughs> yeah, excited for okay. Animal okay. Crossing. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Animal Crossing and Metroid Prime, those are bae. Yeah, I think. What, a, what, a, what an analogy. But like, what if they screw this up? They won't. They, 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 they did just, on Wii U. They just did on Wii U. I didn't play Wii U, so... <laughs> well, but it wasn't an Animal Crossing game. We, it was a freaking mini Oh, mini that game. doesn't count. Oh, yeah, no, this is going to be a... This is going to be... The last one they did was New Leaf, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. New Leaf was like on point. And that was a while ago. That was 3DS, man. That was like four that five years ago. That was a few years, years ago. Um, was it like 2013? I don't think my daughter was born yet. Pretty sure it was 2013. Yeah, yeah that, that was like five years ago, boys. And that's still in my DS to this day. The DS that does not work. I've never played it. It's a good game. It's a good game. This has a lot of potential. And I think it'll deliver. It'll this, deliver. this is going to be one of their tentpole games for the Switch yeah. next year. Oh, yeah. And I don't think it's totally. not going to We just deliver. haven't seen it yet. But it's Nintendo. Like, this, with the Switch, we've got Zelda and Odyssey in the same year. we got Mario Tennis Aces. Which reviewed really well. That's, yeah, but the community died. The, anyway, the community was not happy. We got that. Super That's Mario game. Party, which we played here on the channel. Go check it out. Which was fun as hell, actually. <laughs> you totally, like put like links up there and get people which, to go. Let's Adaptations. be real. It's a good game without online. All right, it's yeah, Animal Crossing. You can't. It, here's here's what I think they're going to. The quality is going to be there. They're going to link it up with their app. Hopefully, they don't f it up. Because that's what they did with uh, Pokemon and Let's Go. Oh no! So Microtransactions? Hope... No, they can't. No, do no, that. no. They're going to do microtransactions. But what I'm saying is that, like, I have a feeling that something is going to be connected. They, I mean, they'll probably push it. For I sure, hope not. But... Push it real good. I don't think <laughs> that 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 cell phone game was terrible. It is terrible. Oh, it's garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My kid, my kid, like, boots thing. it up and he's just like, "Let me play in the because I'm like, "Bro, go play it. I'll play the OG." And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> "I'll play the better one." No, it's it's. <laughs> I liked it before you were. Born. People played it for yeah. like a Duh. week and then they were like, "Nope." That Smash Remote, dude. Ugh. Just give us Animal Crossing. Give us real Animal. Cro okay. Anyways, right. um, yeah, it's gonna go in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but the question is, what's gonna go out? I'm okay, personally, with Damon X Machina. I think out of all the ones here, Damon X Machina is the one that I just have the least hope in out of all these, and it's probably the one about, that I would. What about you? Yeah. What about you? Well, because I already said what I don't care about. Yeah. I think I I could be okay for Damon X Machina, but I think actually I might. Throw Fire Emblem out before. Dude, I throw that out could be your final. Fa that could be your next Final Fantasy tactics. Look, that that could be your next Final be. Fantasy tactics. And you're, you're letting that be. go over. over there, there, there's a I'm lot just of, I'm just looking at I'm looking at the here. five games oh. here. Okay. And You'll yes, get this yes, over there's that. some action in this, but that's like the action game. And by the way, at least we have some footage of Animal Crossing. We literally don't know anything about Gen Eight. This that wasn't footage. Hey, we have a little. This thing was that there no Animal this... Crossing logo. We don't have a logo for this boy. Look, we've got what's his face going getting on camera saying like, there is <laughs> a Pokemon game coming. <laughs> in we're working on it. It's coming. Of TPC, whatever. Uh, so what, man? 
Mm. Are you gonna are you gonna try to fight for Fire Emblem or Damon X Machina man? Because well, I mean, they would just be a shuffle. It's fifty fifty. <laughs> What would? What about you, Rudy? What was the one that you wanted? He to actually picked both. To me. I, I, I was like one of these two. Yeah. Um, so you gotta you gotta pick one, man. Be a tiebreaker. Wait, what? What did you say? I said Damon X. And what did you say? The Fire, Fire Emblem? Emblem. Well, he is leaning to it. I don't think he. I uh, see what you're doing there. Uh, I'm gonna vote for this one to go, because <gasps> because <laughs> internet because I we're gonna have to shuffle because I do not. He doesn't care for that. Uh, SRPGs. SRPGs. SRPGs, man. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of SRPGs. But I just you, I, might, you might find your love in it though. You might I'm, play I'm, and be like, oh, dude, I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> like, oh, there's yeah, no I'm question just, about yeah, it. I'm, I'm gonna buy it. it. Okay. I just. I'm more interested in to see what that becomes. That's not going to be Final Fantasy Tactics. So you never know, man. It's not. There's no way that could possibly. You literally never know, and it has all the right things there. It has, I, like, I will say one families, thing. Families like war. you never see it coming. Not yet. You I never see it. it coming. Got it. Just, Just hand saying. them over. I'll shuffle them because that's what. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? <gasps> Whoa! That one also went by the camera. So <laughs> third time <laughs> Rewind about ten seconds and check it out. I went Super Saiyan. Okay, Super wow. Saiyan Blue. Dang. It's okay. Dang. You, you convinced me. You literally said this might have something crazy happening. You're right. It actually you, it, was it. You guys that said that this might be the next near. Yeah, and that like I don't. It it won't. But it, it, won't <laughs> yeah, no, it ain't Yoko Taro, man. Oh, that's no. Genius. Man. <gasps> what if he shows up at the Game Awards? Oh my god! All right. Well, this is okay. our 2019 okay, okay, preview. Okay, okay, we'll get okay. to the Game right, Awards right, next week. All right. Oh god. Oh god. All Yoko right. Taro. Okay. Uh, next up, we're gonna talk about Shenmue. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Shenmue. I love you, you Suzuki. But I, I don't care at all. And uh, what I've seen of Shenmue Three does not get me I mean, excited. It's super, super, super early on I'm... a really tiny budget. Shenmue One had a way bigger budget than this game does. Doesn't matter. I mean, it sucks. Well, you, gotta, you gotta understand why it looks that way. It sucks because Shenmue yeah. wanted to. Everybody's like, "Give us those HD remasters so we can play this." And they actually got Sega got yeah. them out. Yeah. And they weren't. They didn't. It was just. Well, they didn't. Cared. They didn't do anything for them. They yeah. didn't. They barely touched them up. Um, they uh, didn't do anything to, for quality of life improvements. Because let's be real, a game that's twenty years old, depending on the type of game, won't live up, Thank especially three D. And that's the problem. They didn't touch. They didn't do any quality of life improvements. Kingdom Hearts got minor, but some quality of life improvements from like the final mix stuff that came some. out a few years later, right? Some. Um, a lot of these like remasters, like Last, uh, uh, not Last Guardian, Shadow of the Colossus. Mm-hmm. Some some quality of life stuff there. Not a lot, but some very minor stuff. Shenmue Three, again, and game that's much older than those. What I yeah, yeah. mentioned. Or Shemmy one, right? One two didn't get that, so you had yeah. like really stupid things that you can't choose to skip sleeping or whatever, just little things that hurt the game in hindsight. Yeah, this game probably like, the developers know we got to make a 2018 or 2019 or whatever. I mean, Yakuza is a thing, so they got to go up against that. There's other life sims God, that so good. are going to totally that this is going to but... be competing with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hell, Animal Crossing does a better job than. The original Shenmue does. <laughs> I'm looking for my father's <laughs> killer, but first I must fish <laughs> and farm a little. <laughs> Gotta pull weeds. So Text I mean, them bugs. I mean, like one of the biggest things about this game was I'm gonna go to work and then I'm gonna spend my money on capsules and playing video games in a video game, and it's like that was the draw, that, right? That like novelty 20 years is ago. gone. It is, and Yakuza does it. This, I don't want to compare them because they're so different, but Yakuza obviously was inspired by Shenmue and it does things really, really well in 2018. Um, this has to just be a love letter to fans with its story. For a this really to be good story? Good. Yeah. yeah, a really good combat system because Yishizuki, I mean, he has his clout, right? He worked on Virtual Fighter. He can do it. The big thing is, you know, how do you do the story? Like, th- you can't set it in a hub and say, you know, go work. That's not going to fly unless the work is actually somehow triggering those endorphins in your brain and making you feel good about it i i, I don't know how it's gonna work. i don't know how it's gonna work but i i've lost a lot of my faith it's been three years since we last saw the, since it was unveiled since it was the unveiled. kickstarter not even there the was game. a game the kickstarter mind you because the game, game wasn't in development right no there was a gamescom video not too long ago which is the one you're seeing at the bottom of your screen right now ah, ah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so i don't know man i i i love love those first two games and i always hated that this the series couldn't evolve with gaming 
had Shenmue 3 come out in 2003 and then 4 in 07 and then 5. I was going to say, we should be on the Shenmue 13 right by we now. We should have been like near, near we the... We should be near yeah, the end of his epic wanted. saga. And, and this and is probably games, where it's going to end. And the games would have evolved. They would have actually been developed with the times. Yeah. We would have seen that evolution. Shenmue could have been up there with Yakuza. Or up there oh, with it other... would have if this game was on its twelfth one or whatever. Yeah, probably wouldn't have been that far. But it would have had it, this. Th- this franchise could have had potential to be one of those the top like Final Fantasy tier. Amazing. Like, I want this yeah. game now because yeah. of how impactful it could have been to the industry. To your point about seeing that evolution of a franchise over time, like those ideas and carrying this sad. massive storyline forward, yeah. and this is where it's gonna die. Like in '99, dude, we didn't have weather systems for the fans. Though it's great that they were able yeah. to bring it back. I mean, I, yeah. I'm that's a, that was a it. legendary announcement. That's gonna be extremely hard to top. Yeah. Oh, Half-Life yeah. Three is like it. Half- that. Will, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that. That was. Fan- that. We're, or oh, we're gonna have to God. wait twenty years for some new legendary story to have developed before something can get announced like this again. Yeah. So uh, I mean, I'm gonna get it more than likely unless it is a shit show. I am gonna get Shemu Three because I love that series. I don't. I'm not gonna put it on this list. I don't think I would either. <laughs> no. I never even played the first two. Yeah. <laughs> if those remakes actually had sorry good Huber. improvements. <laughs> I would recommend them, but yeah. All right, I think this is is this is all going to be tough for the rest of these games. There's about a dozen, a half a dozen. Okay. All right, so next up we've got Sea of Solitude. Ooh, our indie rep, man. Yeah, we love indies here oh, at the gaming man. resume. Yeah, we do. Mm. We do love indies. Sea of Solitude looks good. Uh, German, right? It's a German studio, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yep, 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 uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, EA backed it. It just looks, uh, there's just an art, art, and a creativeness to it. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to tell a story. They're yeah. They're trying to tell a story, uh, gosh, was it just kind of like. With monsters. Yeah, but what, what, what was the, uh. Yeah, I think it was depression. Depression, was it? Depression okay. was, was they, what yes. they were had like, and, no and isolation, like being stuck inside yourself because it's <clears throat> SOS. Yeah, see, it was awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. help, help me. I'm. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm becoming a monster that I hate. Yeah, you know. Oh my oh, god. Oh man. The, the potential there. Is, the potential is there. One hundred percent there. Now, if you pointed a gun in my head and said, "Hey, you gotta pick well, one I, of well, these." Well, I mean, what else about this game is cool? <laughs> I think we hit the, the ball though. The we story, haven't seen much gameplay. The game art play. design, yeah, right. like the the, the, the <laughs> music. Yeah, the music actually. The music's on point. Like we haven't seen enough though to say like, okay, the gameplay looks crazy. Like yeah. you know, it, it's probably gonna be a very basic platform. It could be another journey. Honestly, journey had a really basic platform. This could the- hit you in the stomach like Celeste. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Celeste, dude. But Celeste, but Celeste had the gameplay too. Yes. You could replay that game over yeah. and over. Journey, you play once, you're kind of done. Yeah. This the, could I, be a one and done game, but that's right. okay. It, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad thing. The it's just we haven't seen the. <laughs> I hate you. So anyway, that's how I feel about Sea of Solitude. Anything you guys want to add? No, man. Like, I was extremely sorry. Go ahead. I, no, no, I was just I was really impressed I when I took like, the words. Out of <laughs> <my mouth. laughs> I mean, you can you know look back at our E3 stuff and like I saw it and I was like, oh, we, that's I mean, day we were one. all in all. We were just that, like, that's wow. day one. Like, I think that won our best EA game. I'm pretty Probably. sure it did. Probably, I mean, dude. It's like anyway. EA is literally just sports, 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 and then sports. you have this Madden. and then Battlefront like, two. Oh uh, yeah, Battlefront two. Don't get me started on that. But um, no, I I, I like that. I, I like that. I will buy. So, the big question. Looking at this top five, yeah, I'd put it in. Oh, oh, oh no! Is it gonna go into the top five? That's hard, man. Yeah. We have some, we have some damn good contenders here. And this is not a knock against Sea of Solitude because I again it could be a Celeste type of of whatever. But have you guys seen any game like really solid like lengthy it's, gameplay? No, sea of not Solitude? lengthy, no. but it's her running around and there's like there's a different sea levels. So there's mm. buildings you can climb on and then yeah. the sea comes back up and there's all those really cool monster designs. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know <laughs> He's if it's like sell it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think I can pick it over yeah. all these. All of these have something that I really want. Even freaking, I've not seen anything, <laughs> and I still want yeah, you. Yeah, two of these games we haven't seen anything. <sighs> but I mean, I, the only other one would be Damon X Machina, and that could be the next Nier Automata. So no, I can't. This could be the next Celeste. But Nier Automata is nah. better than Celeste. <laughs> 
Damon X Machina is not going to be that good. It probably won't. This is going to be better than Damon X Machina. Ooh. Whoa. Hot take. Hot take of the month. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to say. We, can we do like that? <laughs> <laughs> going to hang it around. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say it doesn't go in. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Pressure's on, Rudy. Damn. For the hundred people that are gonna watch this, I, I yes, that goes. <gasps> oh, replace Damon X. Oh, the because, plot twist. Because <laughs> he saw was actually not indies, that bad. Man. Indies, indies. Although we do well, Damon X Machina is definitely. Well, hang no, on. So we've hang on. No. So are you you voting? In I'm voting that one? into the top five. Okay, it's going in. So what game is coming out? You also want that one? I of the five here. We're shuffling. What? What? what we're we, shuffling. Wait, I, well, I want Damon X Machina in there. Well, what? No, but I know. What, so uh, the, what else would you shuffle with? Actually, uh, I know which one I would shuffle with, or I know which. Actually, I don't want Damon X out of there. Oh, which one do you want to shuffle with? <laughs> I want to get rid of Ori. Ori? What is wrong with you? <laughs> really? I would rather have David X Machina over Ori. Oh my god! No. I don't have the link to this. Uh, neither, awesome. neither do I, but I can appreciate the beauty and like... And you can play the first one for super cheap right now. On yes. PC. Yes. <laughs> you, we have nothing whoa, whoa. to... Wait. So what were you going to kick out? Uh, oh, I would have just chosen Animal Crossing. What? Oh yeah, that would have been shuffled. <laughs> no, Rudy <laughs> could never let that happen. No! Yeah, but so? Damon. Is that, is that or Pokemon? No. No. Oh, we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We need like So Smash all three Brothers. of us are on a different card right now. I would I would get rid of that. I would get rid of that. And you would get rid of this? Dude, we need Smash Brothers. We to need come a consensus so or all like three of those are getting shot. I know, I know, right? <laughs> Smash! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be hella fun. By the way, <laughs> just have Smash on the. We're not whole gonna time. get through any videos ever again. It's just Never. Be like, let's just play Smash. <laughs> God damn it! We'll come out and we'll have like Gandalf beards. Yeah. <laughs> it's been eighty three years. <laughs> um, all right, you know what? Video. You know what? You know what? I'll make a consensus because we need to make this uh, make this happen. Damon X Machina can come out. I think. I think you're but right. But I think. haven't consensed. Oh, but oh, he did. God. Oh, Max. all right, all right, fine. I'd rather have Ori than Damon. Uh, Even though I could be a jerk and force too. a shuffle, but I won't. Even though, honestly, I I'll, I, I would probably feel bad. play Damon more than, than Ori. I kind of don't want Sea of Solitude in there now. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the combat. All right. Do we have a resurrection? I have animal? a feeling. I have Sea of Solitude's <laughs> days. Could down. Be, <laughs> its oh days God. could be numbered. Oh my God. Like, All right, stop. let's see what's stop. next. We've got Anthem. Anthem. Oh my god, I was talking to Marta about it today. Uh, how are impressions doing now? Because like I don't, I'm not, I'm not stoked. We've discussed about this, and people that have followed our it podcast, looks pretty. We've talked about yeah. it a lot. It, it looks pretty. It could be another Destiny killer. This one has more potential to be a Destiny killer than Division. absolutely. However, I don't think it'll be another Destiny killer no. unless they nail that that like, Iron Man. Yeah, the Iron Man suits. Yeah. That that'll definitely help. I think uh, a good story will definitely help. And I think um, what is it? The uh, you saw they're gonna the put loot. in the N seven armor into it, right? That's a freaking dweeb. Uh, are they really? <laughs> that was no, a I think, I, I, think I saw a tweet. I mean, that was a destiny. Was it? Yeah, yeah, that was a destiny. Had dweeb. Oh, I thought you said weeb. Not weeb. That's that's Matt. I lo- I am a weeb. <laughs> I don't I don't dis- discourage us. But no, it, it definitely has the potential for it. Um, I saw I saw the N seven armor. I. Like the Mass tweet. Effect, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a tweet or something. They're like, "Oh, you can get this." I mean, whatever. I don't know. I'm just not excited for it. And I, uh, looking at my, I have hopes, is... man. I really, I like, I, I want it to. I mean, be it's good. Bioware. Yeah, I want it Bioware. To be... Oh, that's why it has to be good because it's if it's not, it's like, Bioware, Bioware, Bioware is out to pasture. It's gonna be. Oh the my next god, visceral. he's gonna shut them down. Yeah, it's gonna be the next visceral, man. We won't get Dragon Age Inquisition two, <laughs> which might be sequel to Game of the Year 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tropical Freeze got robbed, and I didn't even come out that year. <laughs> I do. I really want this to be good because I remember our first impressions. The first when they Dude, revealed I the was C3. Blown away. Yeah, yeah, almost literally because it was windy. Uh, but, but it was just like whoa. And then I think what happened was last year C3. Matt knows someone, some acquaintances someone. who have uh, connections to Anthony. Have have visibility, and they were giving him some. Eh. So, but that was 
a couple years ago, I feel. Well, that was, well, he, we, we, it was, was shortly revealed. after Anthem was revealed. What was Anthem revealed? 2017? It would have been a year, so last year. Around this yeah. time last year. Anthem? No, around this time last year is when Matt was. Oh, like, oh okay. Because okay. it was revealed last E3, or 2017. You're right. And yes. then this year we saw it again. Yes. And this year was a really bad presentation. Yeah. Well, the presentation it. was bad, and I don't want to hold that against the game. Well, I mean. Yeah, but the game yeah. itself, the presentation was bad because of the game. We, what they showed us of the game was not very good. But it, it was because they had four people out on a couch, and they were just like, la, 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 That's la, true. la, while, while there's footage in the background. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Uh, I, I'm still not very hyped for it, and I, I looking at my list again, nah. Yeah, me either. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, see? Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. All right. Anthem, more like. No. Yeah. Just don't do it. <laughs> All right. I think we've got four games left. Let's do this. <laughs> Jump Force. Jump Force. <laughs> this game is riding on on this appeal of I am putting all the big show in. It's got my boy Gon. It's got my boy Hisoka. And, and I'm pretty sure it's got yeah. And Kilo. And, and uh, Kurapika. Kurapika, right? Oh, oh dude, if Leorio in the, Ooh, boy, my man says. Here's the thing. There's ga- there's like a game on the DS or the 3DS that has all these characters in it, too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was pointed out. It was like, why are you all so excited for this game? Because this isn't the first one to do it. It's the first one to do it that looks like well, this. Well, one, yeah, it's got some crazy, super realistic HD graphics, which is really weird. It's bizarre. Um, yeah, it is kind of odd. It, it, it's a fighting game, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a fighting game. Okay. So, I mean, it's going to be like the Naruto fighting games, which were fun. I remember playing those and thinking, these are actually really cool. Yeah. Um, But I've got DB Fighters if I want to play my anime fighting games. Yeah. And and I know it's just Dragon Ball. Um, I, Again, hyped because the, you know, the amount of characters that are going to be in this game is going to be like crazy Insane. cool for anime fans. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to buy it. If I'm on it, like right now, again, yeah. looking at these, uh, no. I just don't need another Goku game because they're gonna sell this on Goku and Frieza. Well, no, no, yes. Goku, Goku, Luff, Luffy. And, I know there. Um, I know. I know Naruto's Naruto. more popular and blah blah blah. And, L- and One Luffy, Piece. And, yeah, I get it. I get it. That's like the One king, Piece is, but yeah. not in America. Oh, uh, yeah. Worldwide, worldwide, yeah. Worldwide, okay. But no, no, you're right. The Dragon Ball has a very vocal. I just, base. I don't. Very vocal. I, I just, I want, I. I wish this was actually a Hunter Hunter game in the style of DBZ fighters. Oh, DB that'd fighters. Be cool. I, would, I would eat that up. That would be amazing. That'd be cool. The whole then, like then, it's just so cool. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just but it's got Hisoka in it. He's gonna go swing. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> him and Frieza. It'll be him oh. versus Frieza. Oh, that would be gosh. such a funny. Uh, oh, it's gonna happen. be awesome. We're gonna see it. Um, awesome. I, I just I don't know. M- maybe on Black Friday. Honestly, if it's <laughs> <laughs> like a twenty thirty dollar buy, dude. That Genuinely. first quarter set of games, Black Friday is gonna be where you get them all on sale. Yeah, but are we gonna wait till Black Friday to get them all? Are you gonna buy all ten of them? <laughs> I'm gonna buy Red Sea Two and definitely Kingdom Hearts and and Devil May Cry. And well, we'll get there. Hang on. Okay, there's yeah, there's yeah, there's, okay, there's okay. more in that thing that anyway. Jump Force, man. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. think you got it. really over any of these games. Yeah, I'm there with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, jump away. All Sorry, right. dude. Let's Love talk you. about Secure. Oh, oh, that's the other one. That's the one that comes out <laughs> in March, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah in March. So does Devil May Cry, March 25th. Um, crap. Sekiro, Sekiro. Shadows Die Twice, it, which it, we're probably going to get a trailer at the Game Awards. Oh, I yeah. Guess. Well, yeah, the first reveal was Which that. I don't want to see any more of this game. This is one of those Bloodborne Dark Souls games where you want to go into it knowing nothing. I, I think, though. It's the journey. From, from will be it. good about it. I think I don't think they'll show too much. Yeah. Okay. Most um, of what they showed of Bloodborne was all within, like, the beginning. Yeah, exa- that's the other thing, that's too. That's fair. That's right. the other thing, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's three months away. Genuinely. We're in December. It's three months away. Do you think this game is going to be able to appeal to the Bloodborne and Dark Souls fans with its more verticality and more act, not it's, more it's, action, it's but more it's action. more, it's, it's more, sure. um, it's faster, it's, it's a faster, faster game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, there's no stamina meter, and not like faster in a Bloodborne sense, but faster in like a, you can zip line up to something. Really but it, quick, but it is. I, I think it is it. faster, even in that Bloodborne sense, because it's gonna be, it's gonna feel faster. Oh yeah, like way faster. Like this is this is an action adventure game. This is not an RPG anymore. That's so, what I meant. Like, it's not Bloodborne compared to Dark Souls. Yeah. It's kind of like in its own little tier it is. over yeah. here. It is. It is. They, yeah. they, learn, they learn from what they did with those games. Uh, it's not going to appeal to the same crowd. This is not an RPG. You're not going to PvP unless they have a multiplayer component, which they haven't revealed. I don't think so. But 
it's gonna be different. This will, if anything, this will probably appeal more to the DMC Ninja Gaiden fan base because it's it's I an action game. I can see it's that. an action game. It's an action adventure. It reminds me of the PS2 era where we had all those action games. I used to love playing those and like seeing this right alongside DMC Five. I'm like, holy crap, we're back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Bayo Three, my oh my god. So I I think it'll appeal to a different crowd. Um, it's gonna be amazing. It looks so good. I'm still gonna so get it. good. The boss battles are gonna be incredible. Incredible. I can just dream. I can dream a silly dream. Who knows? Maybe you'll tie. You're a big Souls fan, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. There, there's no. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it from software? I'm like, all right, but cool. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's like the the sun, Desserni, whatever the hell that. There is. <laughs> Apparently, there was um. There were some connections to Bloodborne or something, wasn't it? Bloodborne two. Oh, that's right. Oh, there was man. Like a... If from... Uh, let's not go there. <laughs> no, but they have to really secure. Yeah, they yeah. have to get secure, secure first. Away. Bloodborne yeah. 2 will be a PS5 launch PS5. title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Just like Bloodborne 1 was. Um, I, well, I, it came I, a year later. Yeah, yeah. What are you... yeah. It's early. Yeah, they come out 2016. 2015. Yeah. 15. You're right. The PS4 came... Okay, I'm done talking. Dude, it, yeah. I got my yeah. PS4 2016. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, but Sekiro. Sekiro is in the top five. Yeah, easily. Totally, totally, totally. But I think this is going to cause some conflict between us. Mm. Not me. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's my vote. Yeah, that's my vote too. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> oh, wait. Should I do it? Oh, Sea of Solitude is gone, no, boys. Sea of Solitude. Look, yeah, no, no, no. As Listen, much as we love indie I, games. I love indie games. I really do, and I want Matt to support. would be so proud of us. Oh, no, he would probably Well, this is, this is kind of... It, it is, it's no, like in it between. Is, it is yeah. in the indie stratosphere. But you can't... Double a. It's hard to compete with... Double A. I like that. Because yeah. it's like, we know kind of what we're going to get. We know what we're going to get. We don't know what we're going to get, but, but Pokemon we know doesn't get. fail. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what we're going to get, but Animal Crossing doesn't fail. Sea of Solitude's still kind of a question mark. By the way, only two Nintendo games up here. Okay. For now. For now. For now. Actually, oh. I know what's coming, and that's it. So. Oh, it is the last one? That's the last Nintendo game. Oh. Or the ones that are there are. All right. We've only got two left. Okay. Let's talk <laughs> I about know where they are. Kingdom Hearts I 3. I know where they are. The other three games. I'm actually playing Kingdom Hearts 2 right it's now. It's funny how these all came out at the end. Yeah, this is this is it. This is the end. The climax. The climax. <laughs> Dude, I remember playing Kingdom Hearts 2 and all of us going like... <gasps> Yeah. Watching that Birth by Sleep secret video. Yeah. Before we got to see the full, full one, it was just like... Yeah, yeah, it was like a The little three thing. knights and like a, a person coming in the in the thing, and it was like Keyblade War, and you see the Keyblade yeah, graveyard, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what the hell? It was and, her final mix that they reshoot the, the, the full thing, right? And yeah. 10 plus years later. this is We're finally getting the end to that story. Finally. It's been too long. It has it, been to its long. detriment. I really do think it's been too long. Way I I, I, too I long. think that the the pacing of the games, the fact that they were on all these different consoles, hurt. Yep. You know, now they brought them all back. Now we got them all on one console. The story fine. so far collection, which I have. Did you really? Is that where, how you're playing it now? Oh yeah. Oh, because because <laughs> my son was like, you know, we, we were upstairs and we were playing for 40 the Wii. Bucks. Oh yeah, for forty bucks, you oh, get all geez. those games. Oh, yeah. all yeah. of them. Yeah. All of the games. All the games. So like, I'm sitting there and we were like hanging out. And he was playing Animal Crossing, and then he like messed with like my collection, and he found this, and he was like, "Look, Daddy, it's Goofy and Donald." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, boy, you don't know, boy, <laughs> boy, you don't boy. know." <laughs> oh my God, Dad, I'm over here, uh, boy, get the PS4. <laughs> so like we were, um, this was like before Black Friday and all this and that. Like yeah. I, um, we were like shopping at Target, and I was like, I didn't even know this came out. <laughs> yeah, the it was so like far. a, it was like a super little, yeah, like, like a little reveal, little, release. Yeah. So I was like. Marta, check this out. And she was like, oh, that's cool, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, two weeks later, I was like, I'm just going to buy How it. How many times have you bought Kingdom Hearts 2 now? Three? No, twice. Oh, you didn't buy it on PS3, the remaster? Yeah, I no, didn't either. Was... Oh. I, bu- I bought the first uh, Kingdom I, Hearts I have 1 the first... on PS3, and then I never bought it on PS4. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. I, I bought, bought the bought 1.5 once. HD on yeah. PS3, Yeah. and yeah. I was like, this sucks. So I just Oh, said, my screw. God. So... I didn't even finish Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> no. I so... thought it an awful I tried. Yeah. Storyline aside, being spread across all these games, like what are you looking forward to in this? It's the game? gameplay. gameplay, the gameplay has far. improved so much Dude. throughout the years. I mean, Dream Drop Distance was oh my god, such a good improvement over every, even Birth by Sleep. The I can't flow wait to motion play that. In, the flow motion in that yeah, game. Flow motion was, I, I it, was, it was. It was. I'm gonna it? roll no. into the wall, oh, and now I can leap super DS. high no. and fly yeah. super far. Yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. The mobility is crazy. They, are they good. keeping flow motion? 
I believe something very similar to it. Well, because we not played two point eight. We play or point eight. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Damn it, Nomura. This this is why <laughs> the zero point two prologue. I yeah, dropped yeah, off. Yeah, that's what it was. Zero point two prologue. I played that fragmentary and, passage. Yes, I don't think it had mm, flow. No, motion. I don't think it did either. So I think they're getting rid of it. But I, I like what they put well, in. Well, no, because these these levels are massive. These are going to be the biggest levels they've had in a Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But either way. The gameplay looks fantastic. I love how they're implementing the heroes to like those moves. So you can have those like super moves that like you, Buzz Lightyear's is like rockets are shooting and stuff. The idea of having these different <coughs> type of gameplays, you have like the robot segments and stuff in mm-hmm. Toy Story. That all looks like it's gonna be a hell of a package. And yet again, you said it yourself. Story aside, because at this point it is convoluted to holy hell. Oh, it I'm is, looking forward. It to is it. a shown in anime. Let's be real here. Okay, that's fair. But it's good. It's good. It's got a good story that's been keeping people hooked little by little. Yeah. And, and now the manga's coming you, to an end. We all could be <laughs> shedding some tears at the end of this game. I sure hope so. I, I'm going to yeah. shed tears probably for the nostalgia ha- factor. Happy right? or finally. sad. Just some sort of tears. <laughs> some sort of emotion. They're that... finally back at Destiny Islands and they're going to say hi to their mom again. Because they, they haven't, we haven't heard from mom in years. <laughs> Sora, where the hell have you been? <laughs> you missed dinner. <laughs> Your dad died. <laughs> and you have a sister know, right? from this guy. It's like, Mom, you were married? <laughs> And then, like, Pete comes around the corner. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, sir. Call me daddy. Like, oh, no. (laughs) Kingdom Hearts. G. Wilders. (laughs) Kingdom Hearts 4 is... Never mind. Never mind. It's a sim. (laughs) How to soar... (laughs) Okay. Or it's Noctis. (laughs) Sora dealing with PTSD. Anyway. Oh, oh, man. It's going to be good. It's It's going to be be good. good. It's going to be good. War, at worst, it'll be an 85 on Metacritic. Literally, that's the worst it can do, in my opinion. No, I think people yeah. could rate it lower than that because of the story. People, You've got people out on Metacritic that but are do like, you think I, gonna... I don't want to have to play 10 games to understand but what's hold going on. on. Hold on I hold don't on. like Frozen. Do you think these publications are really going to put somebody that's not familiar with Kingdom Hearts to review it? Not now? not the IGNs or the GameSpots mm, no. or whatever, but well, some, of these, the... some of these... Yeah, but they all there's these lower tiered people that all hit Metacritic. That's true. That's true. That is. That true. are just like, Meh. it would just be. It would, they're gonna get called out if somebody literally Disney reviews and this. Squaresoft, who the hell came up with this idea? If somebody genuinely reviews this game and says, "I don't care for Kingdom Hearts. This game sucks." What are you doing? Well, yeah, yeah but that happens. It makes no sense. They're gonna get called out. It's gonna be a poor review. But anyway, it's gonna. Be I a want. Good game. I want. A, I want the goofy death scene. Oh my lord! That's Jesus. not gonna spoilers happen. from Kingdom Hearts two. Jesus That's Christ. not gonna happen. The goofy death scene again. That twenty four plot twist. That was so dumb. Like they goofy. actually did it, but Go- it's like goofy. <laughs> you knew he wasn't gonna die, but like why? why? Oh my god! I don't even know. And then they throw you in that blitz with all the Final Fantasy characters and cl- oh man, and that, that was just yeah. so that was cool. that was good. Cool. We're gonna get that. We're gonna have a big Leon for sure. We're gonna have a big twist. Yeah. Why not Squall? Why why do you hate him, Square? Why do you hate Squall? <laughs> anyway. Um. Ooh, yeah, we gotta get to see Leon in this game. Oh yeah. no, this is going in the top five. Oh yeah. Oh I, yes. You really wanted the top five, for Nova? Kingdom Hearts three. You really want this in the? We look talked at, look about at the games it for right like now. ten minutes. Look at the games right now. You really want this in the top five? Don't don't get sucked up by the hype. I need your honest opinion here. Do you really want this in the top Dude, five? <laughs> when Roxas yells out, like Sora. I'm just no. To that. Hainer, Pence, and Alette. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that was pretty heartfelt. I was yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hey, and then and then when they, shit, when they as... join and he's leaving yeah and all of a sudden Sora sheds a tear for no reason yeah 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 no hey like, come on there's gonna Tra- be a secret star wars scene in this game no don't, there's gonna don't be a darth vader no, forget sephiroth it'll be a darth vader lightsaber battle oh, he could be like the he could be the, the he's the, the secret boss the secret boss yeah okay traverse town was really done, actually done well Really, really well done. Like, yeah. people hated it because you weren't playing a Sora, but honestly, no. that was such an uh, amazing Actually, that's entry. Twilight Town. Right. Traverse Town is from the first game. Nailed it. Didn't Flanks. want to read a wiki. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Twilight, Twilight Town. <laughs> so, but, I get you. Know, yeah, so, really well done. So, the only you're, games, right, you're right. The only games that I've played are Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and that 358. Oh, the DS game? Oh, no, DS that's game, not great. Which was Caca de Vaca. Oh, that it was, had a good story, though. It had a great Dude, story, um, but uh, the gameplay Zion. was yeah. bad. Yeah, that was actually really sad. The, the gameplay was yeah, yeah. really it bad. It was garbage. It I was saw the bad. clinch review. The review, the review. Like yeah, 300 so. missions, and it was just like boring. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so you, you want it. Out of those three set aside, 
um, Green Drop Distance. Fantastic. Birth by Sleep. Fantastic. fantastic. Like, th- those are like the games those that I'm are the looking two you at. Play. That yeah. I'm like, you gotta play them. Yeah. That's why I bought Story so far. It yeah. Was, it wasn't for Oliver. <laughs> it was for me. <laughs> Dude, Oliver and Company is gonna be in this game. Oh yes. God. As a summon. Yes. Are they really gonna be in the game? Billy Joel's gonna be singing okay. his song. I'm so dumb. Yeah. With you. Anyway. That's gonna be the musical level. Sean, there's not a uh, No! Please don't no, bring back No, no Ariel. Right. Ariel's a summon. Why no. should I worry? Okay, please no. just tell me what you want. Xehanort's like dancing on the piano. <laughs> We've lost him. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> I don't know, dude, because... I'm saying yes, it's gotta go in this top five. We've been waiting for this forever! Okay, no, you're, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. PS4 announcement! Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 on PlayStation 4. Drop the mic. Like, was, this, was, this, is, this is it! What it's, it's so funny how you you like ch- I changed your mind. Oh, he changed my mind. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, are you in on oh, no, Kingdom Hearts? At first, I was like, eh, I don't really want it because I'm like, this is really good. But he was kind of like, I want. Uh, I changed his mind. This now is like, like a semi legendary release it, that no, no, this no, is, is coming out. It is that it's, we're finishing the we're we always finishing knew, the we fight. Knew it was coming. It's just that I hate you. <laughs> we Sarah, always knew. What are you doing here? <laughs> finishing finishing <laughs> this fight. <laughs> That'd be it. Oh, anyway. Finishing this fight. All right, you know what? Fine. Um, if I had to pick one of these, it'd be either Pokemon. <laughs> wait, wait. Are we voting it in? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's before. officially yeah. in. It's, okay. It's, okay. In. Okay. it's okay. in. It's in. It's in. It's in. It's in. Even if I said no, like you two said yes, so yeah. All right. So it's in. <sighs> oh wow! We know what you want to get rid wants. of. But I, I want a Metroidvania up here. I really, 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 really do. I want a Metroidvania. Okay. Well, we can get rid of Resident Evil. No. Hell no. And then we have another. We have a hard one after this, by the way. Okay, well, which ones are are hard locks to stay? Uh, I think Sekiro's definitely Sekiro. Sekiro. Well, is it Resi Two is staying, dude? Resi. I'm asking, like, what three do we consent on? Like, right out the gate, are staying. I think it's just Sekiro. I think one of us may want all the rest of them potentially gone. Honestly, I get rid of Animal Crossing. Me too. I don't. I mean, I've never played a game. Well, over Ori. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a Metroidvania. But do you love Animal Crossing? I'm actually surprised you said that. If I had to choose between the two. <clears throat> Dude, that's a Switch version. Yeah. 2018. Oh, no. I'm sorry. 2019, 2019 technology. It's going to be a beautiful-ass game. <laughs> it's going to be a great game. Tom Nook's going to come out, and instead of going, blah, 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 he's going to go, come buy some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like in this really, to my store. like in this really deep voice. <laughs> Come by my store. Feel free to browse, said, yeah, but try not to carouse. Hey guys, ho, 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 how are you ho, doing? Ho. All right, you know what? Do you don't want to go downstairs and play with my lollipop? Oh, God. whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> he has lollipops. Okay, Family Guy. Now, yeah, right. I know, okay. I know exactly. What you're talking about. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, you guy. know what, dude? I, uh, you know, or he can go. Or he can go. Uh, we can I'll shuffle. I'm okay no, shuffling. I'll, unless he wants to shuffle it, or he can go. Okay, all right. Or, or he can go. Or he can go. <gasps> oh, the twist. <laughs> you do the honors, my friend. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I'm because probably getting a lot of hatred for convincing you guys to get rid of that. We have, Kingdom lot, we have a really freaking hard one right now. Okay. Final, final, final card. Here we go. Devil May Cry 5. Oh! <laughs> this is this, I, uh, this is DMC. This is the return to DMC. Devil May Cry Five, baby. This looks pretty good. This looks amazing. <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> you tried. I remember many, 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 many years many. ago. You were trying to I get me this. to play either the first, the first one or the one. second it one. It was the first one. You were like, Sean, look at how cool this is. I'm like, yeah. I think you got up to the spider f- boss. I you, didn't play it. No, you did. You 100 percent did. You definitely. I, I, oh, I played a very it with clear you memory at no. your place. Yes, you came over to my okay, place. Okay, okay. You put it on the hardest difficulty <laughs> uh, uh, to prove some like freaking point, and uh, then got destroyed <laughs> at the spider boss, and was like, "Oh, this is crap." That, that's typical, Sean. <laughs> that's Sean. This was me like 13 years ago, and this is me now. <laughs> You have I remember to see that him. you were like Sean. You don't you don't know how to play this. You got to practice. Like, no, 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 no. I'm. I, if it's not, if it's hard, that's okay. But if it's designed poorly, that means I'm losing. If I'm losing, it's a bad game. Yeah, yeah. This is I was a little, incredible. maybe a little arrogant. Yeah. Back then. You don't play. I, and that game is hard as it is. Normal difficulty is yeah. tough as I did. I did buy DMC four, and I did play a decent amount of that. Oh yeah. I got yeah. to Dante. 
Which probably well, wasn't too far into no, the game. No, but that's that's kind of where the game actually takes a nose type in quality because you play as Dante and you refight all the bosses again. Yeah. Okay. So people didn't like that, but Dante's gameplay was incredible. He was very different. Than Nero that. was a lot of fun. I Dante's, love that. Dante's even more fun. Oh. Way more options. Way more, way more. Well, in this game, he's got a motorcycle. <laughs> which is funny because there was another game on the table that had a motorcycle ah, as a selling point. But this was way better. But that one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that one you can actually pick up your motorcycle and smash enemies with it. So, yeah, Devil May Cry 5 is going to be bonkers. It's going to be good. This is an evolution of that type of game. Like, Bayo 3 needs to watch out because this game looks incredible. This, I of all the games on this list... I feel this is going to be the top contender for game of the year next year. It has to. I feel like it's got the momentum behind it. Dude, I think Sekiro's going to be up there. Kingdom Hearts has potential too. Let's not, let's not lie. It has potential for like... Not for Goaties. You don't think so? Not Maybe ours, but not the Game Awards Goaties. Oh. Resident Evil 2, maybe. Actually, yeah, dude. Resident but Evil but I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like... You could go. This this is like a lock. But you don't, you don't think that's too anime, too popcorn, this? too yeah. No, you really don't think so? It may not win, but I think of the because we don't know what else is coming out next that's, year. That's the other thing too. Yeah. I mean, Metroid Prime Four could is gonna steal it if that comes out next year, boys. But but Devil May Cry Five is Devil what's May coming Cry. out. You get me. So I mean, hyped. I mean, if you look at YouTube. And if you go, if you look at the video, the views on our, on all of our videos, this yeah. is our number one viewed video. Yeah. The MC5. There's a fan base. There is clearly it's, a fan it's, base. It's a rabid. So it's going to sell really well. Oh yeah. But I think it's going to, the quality looks like it's there. So as oh, long as the gameplay is, yeah. isn't bad. I don't think it And the be. story's good. People that have played the game have said at Gamescom, like, this is really good. I don't think it's going to be... Unless it takes a crazy nosedive, which I don't think it will. Capcom has been... Monster Hunter World was a, like, runaway success. They're having a renaissance. They, they're they yeah. saying Cap God is back. Like, yeah. Monster Hunter World has become their best-selling game ever. ever. What? What? After all that RE7 success oh. also. Yeah. So it's, it, it's going to be good. It's got to come in here, man. It's got to come on. I mean, what do you think about Devil May Cry as a franchise? As a franchise, like... You played four. Yeah. You played a lot of I play, four. I, I remember play, that. I played one, two, three, and four. Oh, hell yeah. My <laughs> like, boy. They're all... I, the only one I didn't play was that DMC... DMC Devil May Cry, yeah. yeah. Which was... Okay, it wasn't... I, I didn't play it. Um, I think it came out on PlayStation Plus, did it? Yes. I okay, so, it, so it might be in my library. Yeah. I, was I, think, I think the theory. fan base likes to ignore that or pretend it never came out. That's DMC 2. That's kind of... DMC 2 never yeah, came out. Yeah, DMC 2 was not... That. DMC two never came out. Isn't this is this a prequel to two? This is actually a sequel. DMC two in the storyline was actually the one farthest in the storyline, and now this one is finally after going that. After that, yeah. okay. So DMC should, two never happened. I probably should read up all the lore before this game comes out. There's not much lore. Yeah. <laughs> it's just there's fun. a lot of fun, dude. <laughs> let's get this party started. Hits the freaking thing, doesn't turn on. And he's like, okay. Start shooting people. It's it's just like it's great. It's, it's, a, it's such a, a silly game. game. Yeah. It, it's... R- remind me because I saw in one of the trailers. He's like, "Devil May Cry." Is he like a Ghostbuster for so demons? He, he literally yeah, yeah, was a demon demons. hunter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That okay. was how it started. Yeah. Yeah. So he's Peter Venkman. I, yeah, <laughs> sort of. I guess. <laughs> Sean, just stop. Stop with your references, damn it. <laughs> no. So I, um, yeah, I, I vote yeah. The question is, what to get rid of? No. I think I know what I would get rid of. Do you? Yeah. Okay, so Devil May Cry is definitely going in. Yeah. Well, I'll just leave it here for now. Yeah. Um, by the way, this game, this game, this game, and this game all come out within like two months of each other. I, March 25th is Devil May Cry 5. Resi 2 is January 25th. These are both January. And January 29th. These, these Literally are, four days yeah, later. And these are both in March. Yeah. So I'm literally these two games in January. I'm good till March, and then I'm good in I, March. I mean, those four games, like that's it. What just else do put we need? Those on my table, and I will take my time and go through all four. What of them. else do we need? We don't need it. We have a, well, we have an action well, game. There's Pokemon and Animal Crossing. No, no, yeah, but I'm saying like for that first oh, six months, oh, I have yeah. I have an RPG pre E3. I have a, an action shooter horror. I have two action games in the same month. I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna like what a time to be a genuine gamer. Yeah, 
genuine. Not one of you freaking like I play oh, Destiny uh, and 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 oh Halo. Well, hey hey but, yeah. Destiny's hey. a game Destiny's and Call of Duty. Call of Duty's a you game. You bought Call of Duty for my daughter. No, you and I and you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Famas is my favorite gun. Uh, that's, no. That's, no, no. That wasn't you. I, I like the foul. Mine was the tar. I like the foul. In Modern Warfare Boom, 2. Boom! Got him! <laughs> yeah, now. Modern Warfare 2, anyway. though. Anyway. <laughs> that was nine years ago, dude. Anyway. Yeah, you're making fun of me for Devil May Cry 1. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Very, okay, let's okay. move on. Okay. What, game, what game do you vote? I will be the filler. What game do you vote? I know what it is. I don't want to see it go, but I know what it is. Do you? Yeah. Huh. For me. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder if you guys agree with my, my pick. It's, it's a hard pick. For me, it would be Animal Crossing. That life sim, man. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Let me back up. I don't have as much attachment to Resident Evil <laughs> as some of these other games. Personally, I would probably pick Resident Evil 2 just because I, I probably will not get it. Oh, I will probably no. get all four of those games, but consensus-wise, I think I would play nah, Animal Crossing. Nah, this is the end, baby. Don't be afraid. Do what you want. Get rid of Resident Evil 2. Or die trying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, the last time we shuffled your Yakuza game. <laughs> That's right. I don't, I don't care. Well, what do, not... what do you guys say? I've said my piece. What do you say? Yeah, go. No, I'm trying to decide between... Um... Animal Crossing or... <laughs> okay are we are, are we talking like realistically what we would get versus what we would not this is your personal my personal if you, if, if you could only play five games this year and what i would six, what i would realistically play of what we yeah. know so far obviously of what i would realistically yeah. play yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, i mean yeah, this is your pick so you, you know what you're gonna pick like you know what you're gonna make okay then my, my, mine would be, mine would be oh shit <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Damn. Because re- realistic, right re- <laughs> Damn. dude. Realistically, Animal Crossing. I'm getting this. Skiro, I'm getting Hell this. Yeah. Pokemon. I'm getting this. Kingdom Hearts. Duh. That, I had that pre-ordered like what it was <laughs> that three, four, years three years ago. ago? Forty dollar <laughs> Amazon glitch from yeah. years ago. Baby. I actually got rid of both of mine. You idiot. Because oh, I've got the GCU it. now. It didn't save you any money. It, it does it's because it, it's got the ten dollar pre-order for bonus, the other purchases, which Not I'm gonna me. buy anyway. He's just salty because I had two and I yeah, promised him one. Yeah, he had a copy for me. And then I deleted it. You could have canceled it. one. I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Yes, 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 yes. No. This is a question mark because I want RE7, but I haven't gotten it yet. No, you can borrow it. That. You can it's borrow whole... it. You can take it home with you. Bump that. But I don't know if I'm actually going to play it. Yeah. Bump that. Bump. Like, it was bump. good. Bump. AC, AC Odyssey. Like, I'm sitting there and I'm playing Odyssey right now. And I'm just like, holy guacamole. Like, my son is not seeing this. It's just blood. This is just and it's gore just that we yeah. really really strong content. I haven't even played Resident <laughs> Evil 2. Resident Evil no, But but this dude, is a re it's it's no, been no, done before. No 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 no. no. Don't you No, even no. Do then. not put this game it's down. It's like Final Fantasy 7 remake. Okay, then if that's the case, no. I go for Pokémon. It's literally going to be Pokémon. But that's no, brand new. It will, it, generation. It, it will, yeah, but it's a whole brand new story. It will not be Pokémon. So? This this you know what's going to happen. Do we? No. Do you, uh, dude, Mr. Uh, Never uh, played Resident Evil? Uh, 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 it's a chance for people other than to get dude, to play the first one. Play it. Resident Evil Two. There's a reason why people went nuts. It's uh, it's, it's like, a oh no, good, I know. It's like, probably the, and by the way, fun little fact: that original <laughs> game was directed by Kamiya, who created Devil May Cry One, and is now one of the lead designers at Platinum Games. Fun fact: wiki it up. <laughs> no, Onyx is getting real <laughs> salty over here. <laughs> No, I. That's not gonna happen. Honest, you two voted for uh, it. What, it's not gonna what, happen. What is Pokemon? I literally don't know anything about Pokemon. Sun and Moon. I didn't even finish Sun and Moon. I'd rather play Animal Crossing because I never played the game. Animal Crossing is good. Pokemon. But there's, there, there's no end game to this. That's yeah. okay. It's a forever game. I play it's, it's Overwatch. A forever game. I've played 600 hours of Overwatch. It's okay. You will not play 600 hours of Animal Crossing. But if I play 100, I'll, I'll be. You will yeah, not play 100. You probably 50. might pay like 80. 30, 40? 80. Who cares? <laughs> Pokemon. I, I put in a lot of time in Animal Crossing. You two vote for Resident, Resident Evil 2? I'm going to cause a shrink. Re- right real, realistically, dude, That's fine. Yeah. realistically yeah. speaking, I will play and buy this. 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 I do not know. That's fine. The, the, I'm causing a And this, this, I will definitely, definitely I know, buy I it. I'm, I'm right the there with Rudy. Like, like, I'm definitely getting that because like, I, I, I'm, happy I'm invested that you guys. in this. I'm so I'm, happy. I'm invested in this. Like, I know. I'm this, really happy this, about you guys. This is... Uh, 
the Switch. That was one of the first things that was brought up. Okay, then Animal Crossing. Game. You're absolutely right. You changed my mind. I don't care for Animal Crossing. And that too. <laughs> I've, never, I've never played Animal Crossing. I'm not trying to convince you to pick this because I know you're not. Well, I'm, I'm not. just... We're costing a shuffle. Oh, yeah. Between we're, Animal we're... Crossing and Resi 2. I would rather we shuffle Animal Crossing in this than Pokemon in this. Okay. Then that's what's But happening. I don't know if that's Rudy's. You evil man. <laughs> because if I were to choose between these two, I would choose both. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we do already have Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, but it's not But it's same. not core. It's not the core same. Pokemon. It's same. It is a core Pokemon. It's I mean, no, you're, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. you're right. I'm sorry. Yellow. You're right. Now, the more I think about it. It's core. It's just not. You're going to love it. This will probably be better than this. Yeah. This will probably be better than that. I just don't care. Sorry. Well, bring back Metro. No, I don't want... What? <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know. Make up your minds. <laughs> your man's got to pick Okay, what do we... What? Mm, yeah, I would. Okay, right, so we, we got to shuffle. shuffle. I'll let, let's, I'll let Rudy do it this Why? time. Why? Okay, all right. <laughs> he's doing it under the table he's like I know the one in my left hand is that one yeah, and the one in my right hand is that one I think you gotta do this above the table to be, to be not cheating and what are we gonna do when he's done singing is it the top one I guess okay no isn't that what you did before I'm gonna, all right at the count of three whoa okay I'm gonna count down three two one your right hand well it's Oh, just... whatever's on top yeah, whatever yeah whatever's on top, on top. <gasps> goes away right goes away yeah this is gone it's dead ah! <laughs> animal Baby. crossing who gets their way this guy boom and you, that right here you lucky bastard it's a hell of a top five that really is that is I mean in all respect like the past like you're gonna see a mashup of all the trailers combined rounds, into one three four rounds have been rough yeah like Ah, so much good stuff just in quarter one. Look, just FYI, we only have one Nintendo game on this yeah. list. So do not tell us Two Capcom are... games, a Square Enix game. We're weebs. <laughs> <laughs> Japan, 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 Japan. Yeah. We are weebs, my friends. However, we have refined taste. And Japan, <laughs> Japan, no, no, no. Screw us Americans. No, no, no. Japan is in a, in, a, in a really American... good bubble right now with developers. They're making really solid games. They finally gotten the hang of HD. They finally been really like they're doing like really good enough. stuff, man. So um um this is like the comeback of these five. Which one are you most hyped for? Mm. Like if you could only pick one of these, which one would you buy? You gotta be surprised, but Sekiro, man. Yeah, me too. Actually, I <laughs> oh shit, yeah, yes. oh yeah. <laughs> Cause like I'm sitting there, I'm looking, I'm like, ah, nah, nah, nah. yes. I really want this. No, like no, no, this no. is a day one <laughs> yeah, for yeah, me, yeah, but yeah. that's a real day one for me. Like I'm gonna get this I after want, I finish story so far. The thing about Sekiro yeah. is that like I want to, I want to be in that. Like I want to like suck in all that ambience. Like that's in the there. zeitgeist. Like, yes, that too. Oh, but it's more so like the world that they've shown looks so enthralling to me. Like I want to experience it. It reminds me of Ninja Gaiden did, One when did I you first play played Neo? that. Uh, a little bit. It looks like Neo without the loot system. Yeah, because that loot system sucked. It looks like that Neo turned me off of Neo so hard. They fixed it. They they like they really did? yeah they 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 made the, the the drops be like way less common, but enough that you still get good stuff. Yeah, the rates just... were too much. It was like way too much and things. It was weird. Yeah, I was definitely like interested in Neo, but I never bought it. Yeah. Honestly, though, the world of this, it just it's a single-player, so far, um, action game. It reminds me, again, a lot of, of Ninja Gaiden. That's what I keep thinking about. Not in the setting, not how it looks, but in the type of game that it Gameplay, is. And I yeah. put, I've replayed Ninja Gaiden 1, like, seriously, like, 8, 9, 10 times. That is one of the, that is the perfect action game, in my opinion. So, this game trailer and stuff made me feel like that and i'm just like shit this is this is what i want from action games like i love dmc5 but this right here is giving me really good vibes and it's not even going to be in the same boat that game is going to be way faster oh yeah for you sure know, way way faster but i mentioned the zeitgeist that is a very unique it's not unique super unique but it's unique <coughs> enough that from software games have this zeitgeist of Everybody in those first couple weeks are learning everything together. Yes. And there's just this discovery and community lore, around yeah. it that none of these other games are going to have. That's the only one that's going to have. It started dying now with Dark Souls 3. <clears throat> but 
I think it's going to bounce back with this. This yeah. is like the Bloodborne. This, oh yep. It's because it's new. It's yeah. fresh. Yeah. It's going to be People good. are all in on this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With Dark Souls 3, like, everybody knew what was going on anyways. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't do anything really new with the story. No. It was kind of like... Bro. And even the combat was, like, kind of just slightly tweaked. It wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, yeah. this is a new thing. Because I literally got to the last bonfire and I was like, all yeah. right, that's it. I don't... I never Dark, did you ever Dark beat Souls it? 3. I never what? beat it. You? Did oh, you? yeah, I beat the final boss. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, it, it's that. that last bonfire, and, like, you have the choice of, like, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...making the decision. Uh, Dark Souls 1, I beat... I was on New Game Plus Dude, Plus. you played a shit ton of... Plus? You played more Dark Souls 1 than I did. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I, oh, my God. I well, you both played more it. than I did. Well, yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah. You weren't into it, because you are were... Yeah, and then you finally No, because the graphics were terrible, and oh it was slow gosh. tank controls. Uh, Blood, tank Bloodborne controls. is what turned me on to the franchise. It was, because you didn't even play 2, either. I played 2 after Bloodborne, but didn't get far. I, I did. I did you. complete 3. I two? completed three. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. two was, um, two was good. from their B team. Their right? B team was definitely their B team. Yeah. Oh, Secure is going to be so good. So good. Yep. Well, I hope you're enjoying all the footage of all these things at the same time. Down no, the no. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is our top five. We hope you enjoyed all of our preview discussion. We know some oh, yeah. of those games got a little bit more love than others, but oh, that's yeah. okay. It's okay. That's, that's the, that's, um, that comes with the territory. Yeah. Are there uh, any games that were thrown on the floor that you would like to see remain up here on the table for the top five? Let us know. Mm-hmm. Are there any games that we didn't talk about? that uh, should have been up here. Uh, the two games that come to mind that I did not include were um, Babylon's Fall, just because we don't oh, know anything yeah. about Oh, that's it. Platinum. That's and Platinum. Square again. Yep. yep. And I'd be curious to see if that even comes out next year. And yeah, then uh, that game called Town by uh, the Pokemon developers. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to see. The Game Awards is literally in a week from today. So It's a week from today, so you will see our reactions to that and probably a whole bunch of new 2019 games that you're going to watch this video much later and go, why wasn't this in the list? Why wasn't yeah. Death Stranding on that list when it comes out six months, yeah, guys? Yeah, well, that's why, because as of today, it doesn't have a 2019 release date. It doesn't have date. any release date. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was fun, guys. So, yeah. uh, hope Thanks you for tuning it. in. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I, was, I was like, please Push go the over bell. it. Go past it. Go past Push it. Push the bell, please, so you, you can it. get the bing, bing, bing on your phone. Okay, the bing, 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 bing notification thing about Jake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you in 2019. Later. <laughs> Later. Wait, what? <laughs> like what you saw? Check out some of our other videos, and be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.